I want 5G. I want 5G. This is what 5G is going to get you. Look around. Look at how fucking angry these robots are. Look around. Ban that person that said hello, YouTube. Kill them. Take them out. You think they want to talk to you back there? Get rid of them. Yeah, that's right. We can unban them when YouTube says hey back. <laughs> All right, you can unban them. That's fine. That's whatever. Chat, sorry, I'm just mad because my coffee machine fucking broke yesterday. You know, the good one. I gotta figure out what's wrong with it or I have to send it back. I have a warranty, so it's not like it's gonna like cost me any money. It's just immensely inconvenient because I had to be like, how do people, how do people do this without like a thing to do it for them? Which was a whole situation. I, at first I was like, I'll order coffee on like DoorDash. And then, because I needed it, like, quickly, I didn't have time to, like, figure out an alternative, reliable option. And then, some fucking jackass, like, five towns over, 40 miles away, was like, Don't worry, man, I got your coffee right here. And then, stuck, uh, just stayed on my goddamn, like, app as the delivery driver for about an hour. While, um, you know, he didn't deliver my car, I didn't even try, finally looked down and was like, whoa, why is this on my dang app? I'm not delivering this. And then just canceled it. Then I get another guy that accepts it, also 30 minutes away again. And he goes like, <laughs> yeah, I got you. And then he, di he didn't get me. And then I had like a third guy, God bless his soul. God bless him. Who was finally like, Bro, we both know that this fucking $7 purchase you made uh, is not worth my time, but um, I'll get it to you anyways, because I feel so bad for you. And I was like, yo, I'm, ch I'm bumping my tip up for you. <laughs> and I bumped my tip up for him. The one person that was willing to get coffee to me <laughs> did me a solid. And then I, I, I had to go into like Instacart and I was like, fuck dude, if my coffee machine ends up being broke for like a week, what will I do with my life? Uh, I need something I can get like quickly into my system. So I was like, get me like a bunch of canned cold brew. Sure, whatever, anything will do. They didn't have canned cold brew anywhere. What they did have though, was the automatic default next option, which is fucking draft lattes in a can these are not good things you people might think these are good things now they taste like legit lattes but um i don't need that especially not in a can it tastes fine it's just like it's this it's sweet enough that it's what you people you you philistines you you lowbrow bastards that don't understand what good coffee is uh would want i didn't get what i wanted i got what like a normal person would want and this isn't it's not okay and now i have to like i'm not gonna waste them so i gotta like drink them but i'm not gonna be happy doing it you know this one's mocha this one has chocolate in it i just want my life to go back to the way things were nothing's normal nothing's right i want to go back in time i want to change things i drink black coffee like a psycho you and me both dude <laughs> I can't live the life these other normals want me to live, all right? I get shamed every day. I get shamed every day. Someone sees what I do and they say, you are disgusting, you make me sick. And I say, fuck you! And then I splash my burning hot black coffee in their face. And I run away. And they scream, they go, ah! As the coffee burns into their face. But by then I'm already gone. Before they open their eyes again, I'm gone. 
Why be angry? It's just coffee. I punch that guy in the throat and I push him over. <laughs> this ain't the time for things like that. Try having better taste. Dude, there's nothing wrong with my taste. All right. The thing is, my my taste is robust enough that I don't need sugar and cream to fucking cover up the truth. Okay? I just don't need the things so many of you need to handle the most basic of beverages. Like a chocolatey latte is like a a fun surprise every couple years. And now I've got like eight of them in my goddamn fridge and I'm like, this is how I like ruin this for myself. This is just gonna be even now, I'm I'm already struggling. They're also like 5,000 calories. This is a can and it's 110 calories. The only saving grace for me right now is that um I need ca I want to be intaking calories. I need more calories in my diet. So, it's not a big deal. It's just it te it doesn't taste very good. I don't know how you people live like this. I think I just got like old and when I got older, my taste buds got lazier and don't like processing anything more than the basics. Maybe that's what it is. Like, I don't have as much of a sweet tooth anymore. That old man tongue. Sugar is as basic as it gets, lol. There's nothing basic about this drink. All right. Why the fuck does my coffee have lactase enzymes in it? <laughs> I can taste them. I can taste the aftertaste of the lactase enzyme right now. I can I can literally taste it. a natural dairy product for that person out. <laughs> I've lived around cows my whole life. Not once has a single one walked up to me with a bunch of lactase enzymes and tried to feed them to me. It doesn't happen. <sighs> it's still better than having a five-hour energy, though. <laughs> I'll give it... I'll give it that. It's better than having like a five hour energy for sure. Even though I still would rather have my coffee. Dude, I got a new pullover because one of my pullovers from like one of my hoodies from like fucking 2013 that I've been wearing since I was a freshman in high school or whatever. Finally got fucked up enough that I had to buy a new one. It is so goddamn comfy. Is this how people live? They live their life in like actual comfy things that are new? Cause I'm like, holy shit, dude. I could live, I could live in this thing for years. This is gonna be my, I'm gonna have this one until I'm 40. <laughs> this will be my 40 year old uh, hoodie. It's very nice. By the way, does the disco jacket fit? Yes, I just haven't had many opportunities to wear it because it's not really in, it's not really the season to wear it. But, although I will say this, while it is only air dry, I totally wear that out in public. It actually looks fucking rad. It's like one of those jackets where like no one would know that it's from disco unless you knew it was from disco. You know what I mean? So like I, I could totally like wear it out in public and no one would ever know that it's like a fucking like shirt from something or like a jacket from something it's just a jacket which is like good that's like good merch when you can't tell unless you squint that you're like wait a minute that's a jacket from a video game like the the designs for like these specific 
brand stuff from Disco Elysium are like very faded to the point where you can't really tell what it is unless you get really close and you squint and you're like, oh, I see. Hotline Miami's Jack is also like that. Well, that's because Hotline Miami's Jack is just a letterman. <laughs> it's not it's not actually like that was that existed before Hotline Miami. <laughs> That, that one is quite literally was there before. It has, it didn't really have any, to my knowledge, any real distinct differences. It was just a Letterman jacket. I can't believe Hotline Miami invented the 80s. God damn it. When will gaming calm down? Dude, my body is not doing great the last couple days though. I thought it'd be cool to um, to do like a uh, core workout. You know, those are like all the rage, the part where you stop trying to work out the parts of your body that people see and you instead do parts of your body that no one will ever see in a million years. Oh, dude, <laughs> my, everything hurts. My back hurts, my front hurts, my legs hurt, my parts of my arms that I didn't know existed hurt. Uh, and it hurts when I laugh. It hurts when I breathe sometimes. Having a course sucks, dude. I should just stick to working out things that people will see and just never, ever, ever do anything else. Because, dude, this sucks. I always put it off because I was like, nah, I don't really, I'm tired. But this time I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do the whole thing. Owie. <laughs> Owie, it's been like this for three days, dude. When is it going to stop? Ow. I did like, I, I've done core stuff before and I was always like, <laughs> it doesn't hurt that bad. Cause it never hurts bad until like the day after. And then when I wake up, it's like, oh, 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 oh. And that was yesterday and now it's today. And it's only a little bit better. <laughs> I guess that means that you did a good workout but usually my pain goes away within like a day. And now it's like day two and I'm sitting here and it still sucks. The price of hugeness. The, the core workout is not gonna make me huge. All right, that is like the opposite of huge. Core workout is like the stuff that, it's none of the huge stuff. It's parts of my body that no one will ever see. Oh my God, it's coffee. You're sore after exercise because you're literally causing micro tears in the muscle to rebuild it. I know, I know how, I know how workout works. All right, it just sucks and I don't like it. Mass issue. <laughs> I'm never putting on masks, dude. I gave up on that. I gave up on that. Instead, I'm just going to be extremely fucking toned. That's all I can do. I gave up. I actually gave up. Maybe you're at your mask cap. I was, I've always been at the cap, dude. I swear. I'm just gonna get dense. I'm just gonna get cut, like more dense. Masslet. Dude, I just don't know how to tell you guys this, but it's kind of a bummer, so I'll just be honest. I'm a real life dex build. I can't. I literally can't. I'm in real life. I'm a dex build, baby. I'm a dex build. I just don't know what to say. Yeah. So ban yourself. Stop, you're making my stomach hurt. Stop it, ow, ow. Owie, I'm gonna die. Yeah, so uh, chat, 
I was going to play uh, Hidden Deep today, which just came into early access, and then I played it for like five minutes, and I was like, wait a minute. I'm not sure they've added anything new since the last time I played, at least not anything that I can reach easily without having to play like everything I did last time I played the game. So I was like, I'm not playing that, probably until it's uh, completely come out of early access because um, they haven't added, and hey, devs of Hidden Deep, I know you'll never hear this, but maybe? Add fucking UI scaling to your goddamn game? It's 2022 and people have Ultra HD monitors, okay? Like, add fucking UI scaling to your game. You cannot have UI scale with your resolution anymore. It is not, you, it is not to code. You can't do that. You genuinely cannot. That was not the complaint I was expecting. Dude, it's ri- No, this it isn't just like a, I have a fucking 2K monitor. It's like almost- This is a problem in every direction other than 1080p. In every direction you go, that is a problem when you have UI scaling directly connected to the resolution. And it's that- if you're not playing at the exact resolution the devs intended you to play at, you are playing a version of the game that is wrong. Like, it, it is displayed incorrectly. You need to add UI scaling to your video games. It's 2022! It's almost enough to make me not play certain games. Because instead I have to fucking like actively play in the wrong resolution and blur the shit out of my screen and crap. Or like deliberately do weird things to make sure it's visible for all of you when I play. Like I have to do certain, like it's so fucking obnoxious to try to adjust for games that don't scale UI. Everyone needs to start doing it. it I, I'm not a game dev, but it can't be that hard because I see it fucking everywhere. And when a dev doesn't have it, it is a huge red flag. But I get that it's an early access game, and I get that it's made by one dev, and that's why I'm not like saying the game sucks, they just need to add it. They need to add it. That should be like one of the first things they do, is add UI scaling to that game. Please. 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 Game should go and suck self! Dude, what the fuck is your problem? Can you calm down? He's got a point. That doesn't mean he should say it. All right? That doesn't mean he should like spray it, okay? So you didn't get DMCA, so that's cool. I didn't actually check. I know that part of the VOD last time got uh, muted. I didn't check if I got claimed or not. I have not. Cool. Yeah, part of the VOD definitely did get muted. Uh, but that's also possibly a false flag. That happens as well. Keep that in mind. So that may have all been totally safe music, but part of the instrumental and behind one of the songs may have been flagged by like a different label. So, who knows? It's fine, I didn't get any big trouble and I could technically afford one flag anyways. It's only an issue if like people are clipping the exact, cause it's the clips that get you in trouble. It's actually like the clip. So if no one clipped whatever part was causing the flag, it doesn't matter. But that didn't happen, so I'm good. It's just not something I'm very interested in fucking doing every single goddamn stream. <laughs> it's not a risk I'm willing to take. So basically it's chat's fault, yeah. So if I clip enough stuff, I can take you down. Well, it's too late now because the VOD's been saved without the uh, audio that caused the problem, idiot. So, um, you missed your chance, fucking moron. <laughs> G 
Get crossed on. Get crossed on. But yeah, tomorrow, uh, I believe I'm playing Dying Light, which, um, not the second one, because that one's gonna suck. We're gonna play the first one, uh, the DLC, which is standalone, which I've never played, and neither have, uh, neither has Sam, and I believe we are gonna turn it on, and we are gonna play the following, which neither of us have played, so we're going in it completely blind. I don't think I have to have a functional save to play it. I think I can just start and it'll put us at like end game characters. I think. Why Dying Light 2 gonna be bad? You know exactly why. <laughs> if it's good, I'll be glad, but we'll see. I'd rather keep saying it's gonna be bad and then be proven wrong than be proven right. Actually, wait, yeah, wait. COVID ruined gaming. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, chat member, you helped me. Uh, but yeah, um, that should be fun. I'm actually really excited to do that. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to beat the whole thing in one sitting, but I think we did establish between me and Sam that we wanted to just like, slam through the content. So I think we're gonna try to get through a lot of it. We do, we didn't wanna do the main game because I was like, you know, I'm the person that's like, I don't wanna do eight sessions of Dying Light this week. So we were like, let's just do the DLC because we can totally clear that out in like a stream or two. And it won't be, an, it won't be like hard to do and it's also good. So yeah. That should be a fun time. And I think Gmar might be joining us. I thought he was joining us from the beginning, but apparently he might be joining as well, which is rad. So I think Gmar as well, that'll make three. It's been some time since I played with those boys. The following is really fun. I only played it once to make a video of it in like 2014 or some shit. Actually more like probably 2016. So yeah, did not have much exposure to that, which is why I want to play it. Cause I swear, dude, the thing I have done in Dying Light is play through the first six hours of it about 40 times and then fallen off of it. So for me, I'm like, let's just do the fucking DLC. That's also supposed to be really good, which I haven't fucking seen because holy shit, I cannot, I cannot do the first six hours and then stop streaming it again. I just won't. So DLC will be good. I can't believe 2016 was nine years ago. <laughs> it just wasn't. Stop trying to like freak me out, dude. Get that guy out of here. The chief 1114 says, why? Wait, why the fuck? Chief, what did you fucking do? What did you? You must have done something because you're not VIP'd. What did you fucking do to like piss me off? I'd love to know. I must have banned him at some point for something. You say this every time, <laughs> you freak. Yeah, but like, have you ever answered me any of those times? Or did you just keep fucking dodging it? Just VIP the man. I could either VIP him or I could chat log audit him. <laughs> All right, hang on, VIP, the chief, 1114. I think at one point, I definitely do remember this. Uh, someone came in with your almost exact name, like a straight up imposter. And I talked to them for like fucking like 10 minutes as if they were you and they acted like they were you and it freaked me the fuck out because I found out like afterwards and I like VI I think I like modded them because like it was like way back before VIP existed and I was like I can't believe Chief came in to hang out with me in my chat that's so fucking badass and then it was like not the Chief 1114 it was like someone else it was like before there were check marks for like partners too. So it was like, I had to actually fucking check your name and like, you got like, 
you got like psycho branding, so obviously it was almost impossible to tell who's who between you and like another version of the chief. Because you got like insane SEO syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good. This coffee fucking sucks. It gets worse the farther you get down the can. The numbers add character. Whatever you say, man. SEO. Chat, this is... Chat, if you don't know what SEO is, I just can't fucking be bothered to catch you up. You might as well not worry about it. Usually the people that ask about what SEO is have like fucking insane people SEO is anyways. So it's not gonna make you any happier to know the truth, okay? It's just not. Dude, when I talked about it, apparently I got pushed up for some people up to like page one of Google when I like whined about not being on page one of Google. On t when you look up tomato, like, dude, I got pushed up pretty high in some uh, regions. So like, you know, whining works, dude. Top one page streamer. Yeah, well. Chief Twitch works on Google. Yeah, but like, you know, when are you going to get just Chief on Google, number one, dude? Come on. When you when you going to get, when you going to get, what page are you at when you look up the Chief? Because I bet you're competing with John Halo. Think about it. SEO doomed. Chief ice cream comes before chief. Oof. Hey man, if it makes you feel any better, I'm on page eight for tomato. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, up until recently I was uh, swimming around page eight without many options. That's my dad's company, asshole. All right. Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Tomatoes trash is on page three for me. Dude, good. I actually just fucking realized in like a couple weeks, I'm gonna have to get sent. YouTube's gonna fucking hassle me for my address again because they're gonna send me one of those silver plaques. Do they still do that? Do they still do like the plaque? They send you like that fucking plaque when you reach like 100,000 subscribers? Because I think that's happening on the VOD channel soon. I can put it in the pile with the other one. <laughs> I can stack them both together and make them more powerful. It still won't be a gold one, but it'll be like pretty cool. Melt them down for silver bullets. If you think that's actually fucking silver in that fucking play button thing, you're out of your goddamn mind. You're out, you're fucking insane. You think YouTube's gonna send anything of actual value <clears throat> to some fucking jackass that gets 100,000 subscribers when there's idiots wandering around with like 10 billion on their site? Yeah, right, dude. I like... Yeah, right! <laughs> tomato Fortnite comes before Tomato on the third page of Duck Duck Go. C 
cursed fucking chat messages right there. That's a really bad one. <laughs> yeah, well, that tomato Fortnite guy can only enjoy his time for so much longer because eventually Fortnite's going to be done. But gaming? Tomato gaming? I've got that one. And that's forever, dude. That's fucking forever. To made a Fortnite walk so you could run. Yeah, when Fortnite falls and gaming rises again. It's gonna be over for him. You know they add the cost of that plaque to your taxes. Could you fucking imagine if on my goddamn like income analytics on YouTube, it, there, like, there's like a missing like thousand dollars cause they on the house took it out so that it could make me a plaque I didn't want. I'd actually be furious. I would be so fucking mad. I'd rather the money. Thank you. Is that even legal? Nah, but that's never stopped Google <laughs> from doing anything. Dude, you gotta stop having that question in your head when you're on like any internet platform is, is that even legal? Cause the answer is typically no, but who cares? No, but who's going to stop them? Dude, if I called up a goddamn lawyer and I said, YouTube took my ad money and they turned it into a silver play button and I I didn't give them permission. To I'm gonna get laughed at and hung up on, dude. It's not a big deal, man, cuz, uh... Cuz whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured it out. I got there. I got there. Yeah. I'm professional. I know how to talk. Where's my bronze play button? You know, they just send these play buttons out to any fucking person. It's like... You know, you, you gotta be, you gotta, like... <laughs> a bronze play button? <laughs> you gotta walk the walk if you're gonna get a fucking play button, all right? You know how many you know how many hours and tears I've poured into that VOD channel? None, zero. I pay Brett to do that for me. But you know how many hours and tears he's poured into it? Honestly, a lot of it is mostly like the logistics of uploading it and making thumbnails and tags, which are all pretty much uniform. So probably not that many either in the grand scheme, but some, <laughs> some. Like seven, yeah, like seven, seven tiers were, were, Fell for that VOD channel. Give Brett the play button <laughs> over my dead body. That's, that's fucking funny. What's the difference between him having a doorstop or me having a doorstop? All right, I don't understand. I have many doors, dude, okay? So I might as well have it. I've got this one door, all right, that closes and opens on its own all the time. I need this. eBay it. Dude, 
would I get, I, surely YouTube can't get you in trouble for selling your play button the second it shows up, surely. So obviously you can. The problem is, I'm not really very interested in anyone having that. Like, I'd rather destroy it than let anyone else have it, you know? And who would buy it? That'd be so fucking sad. That'd be the most pathetic purchase someone ever made in their whole life. I would laugh at them while I hand it to them. That's like pathetic. People buy NFTs? I know, but they're fucking, they got, they got bad brain. I'm talking about like using eBay to sell your YouTube play button. Which is a way more reasonable thing. To show it off to your friends like a fucking disgusting trophy. I, I got this from some fucking random ass jackass streamer. It's his YouTube play button. Stole it. <laughs> got a wall of tuber play buttons in the basement. Hundreds of them. Congrats on a hundred K, dude. It's not mine. I bought it off. I bought it off eBay. <laughs> yeah, you never like that's definitely there's no there's no way you ever talk about that if you buy it ever because every single time it's gonna be really like disappointing because you're just gonna have to be like this isn't mine. I don't own this isn't my channel. Like I bought this off of the person who made it, which makes it worthless. <laughs> like to be clear, chat. It has zero value the second the person that has the thing goes, I don't want this, it's garbage, I'm selling it on eBay. At that point, I think it is completely properly worthless. It is worth less than garbage. Because if I then go and say, but I do want this like coffee from like Duncan, therefore the coffee was more valuable to me than the fucking YouTube play button in many ways. So, <laughs> You know, that's kind of fucked up. And I mean, to be fair, I think I'd find a rock more valuable as a doorstop than the YouTube play button. They're not very heavy. They're kind of like paper. They're not really very good weights. Get some cool rocks. I know. Take it to the shooting range. I've never gone to a shooting range and I don't really want to. I don't really want to. Gunlet. I just, dude, I don't feel the desire to gun down things. And you call yourself an American. Bro, last time I was at a gun range, some, f like, I didn't even shoot anything. I, like, went there for, like, a second because it was right next to the fucking golf course I used to, like, golf at. Which was wild, by the way. Like, there was a shooting range next to the goddamn golfing, like, driving range. But I went there for, like, a second because my friend needed to, like, go there for something. And, like, I just watched some fucking idiot shoot a gun and immediately smash themselves in the nose and, like, fall over. And I was like, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, that's enough for me. And I left. It was someone with a mullet was all I remember, which is peak. That's peak gun range, but they got fucking destroyed. What an idiot, LOL. A mullet, how long ago was this? You definitely don't need to, it doesn't need to be the past to have a mullet, I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you, but there's no laws stopping people from having them now. 
It sh there should be. Oh, there absolutely should be, but there is. Mullets are in LMAO. Look, dude, I don't judge anyone for their hair because my hair is fucking ridiculous and barely works. Okay, so I'm not gonna go out here and be like, your mullet looks stupid, your hair looks stupid, because I, mine barely functions. But old ladies love it. Yeah, they do, it's just that like, the amount of fucking goop I gotta put in my hair to make it do anything other than fly on my forehead in a straight line is fucking wild. So like, I, I'm not about to go out and be like, your mullet looks dumb, your hair looks stupid, change it, when like, I, mine barely works. Goop? Yeah, it's cum, I put cum in my hair. Do we have any more like, actual real questions? <laughs> what? I mean, you can't just say this. I literally did. It doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't matter. I can say whatever I want. I am in control. Can we get less horny D&D &D episodes, <laughs> yo? Is it D&D &D talk to say that Dodger forced everyone to observe fucking like 20 minutes of brothel RP? <laughs> yesterday? Is that... <laughs> Because that was pretty funny. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know about everyone else, but I am super duper not in the zone yet where I feel comfortable having any sort of uh, sexual RP or like anything like that with my DMs. It's nothing against them. It's just, I don't fucking want to. It's not something I have a desire to do, but holy hell. You can actually see as I was looking for exits on the camera like and i couldn't leave because it's a fucking streamed on camera show and i had to like i knew they would fade to black obviously but like just the idea that like we all had to just sit there and like watch as joe did all this these horrible things i started sweating i was like whoa <laughs> astral project into a better timeline yeah it was uh Hey, I mean, I got to have fun with Saddle Ward, though. That was fun. People, people need to understand. I, s RPing Saddle Ward is way fun, dude. Just having fun being the sad version of Saddle Ward. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I didn't know tomato was sex negative. I, dude, I just don't want to see my friends RPing brought the LARP when I'm stuck there watching. All right. I'd never interrupt and make them stop, but it's just like, it's just not my scene. Especially when it's like <laughs> straddle. <laughs> What's up, Joe? <laughs> I was just talking about. I was talking about the 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 brothel experience yesterday. Oh my god. This new pullover is really good, but I don't think I can wear it when I stream. I'm starting to get like sweaty, dude. It is very comfy though. It's just 
It's got like fleece on the interior, which makes it like the perfect like winter hoodie. But um, I think it's uh, I think it's heating me up a little too much. My arms are warm, but my body is too hot. Fleas? Fleece, you fucking morons! God damn it! You know, you guys are the first people these robots would eliminate in some kind of alternate future. You'd already be dead. Stupid things like that. Saying stupid stuff like that. I, for one, welcome our 5G. Dude, 5G is not the cause of this. This is this is nothing but old fashioned copper wiring. I'm telling you, we were wrong. It's not 5G that's gonna bring up the problem. It's gonna be old fashioned copper wiring. Yep. The old days, back when stuff was made simple. Mm-hmm. Copper madness, I used to call it. Yep. Got ourselves some. It's got too much copper. I actually do not know much about this game. Has <clears throat> this game has some like uh, average-ish reviews on it, but a lot of people have recommended it, and it's it looks very like interesting. But it might this might be one of those like bad games. I really don't know. This one might suck. In like all caps. Or it might be great. Can't be worse than Hitman 3 VR. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't be worse than that. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. The main complaint is that it was too short apparently. I love complaints like that because the, like I'm the opposite where I'm like ooh. It's short and I can beat it in one stream. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that sounds like my kind of game. Oh my God. What do you mean this is two hours long? I paid $20 for it. No, I actually like I do get, when people complain that a game is too like short, I do get it if the game is retailing for like $20 and they beat it in two hours. That's pretty short. That's like, that's like a, that game better change my goddamn life over those two hours in some cases. Cause I genuinely believe like, I still, I, some games are extremely overpriced. So it's not like a indie game is exempt because it's an indie game, like from being overpriced or too short or too long. Like it's all subjective and based on the game, you know? So we'll see. Indie games are exempt from criticism. Exactly. If we criticize all the indie games, they'll just stop making them, chat. <laughs> You're gonna make them mad. You're gonna make the indie games mad and then they're gonna stop showing up. And then we'll have to play Battlefield. 2042 or whatever and then we'll have to play EA's new game hey at least Battlefield 2042 is going free to play dude fuck EA so hard they are so bad, fuck them, fuck everything about them. I hate them. I don't say that about, I actually hate them, I hate them. Even Ubisoft can sometimes do things right, 
EA is the most embarrassing fucking company I've seen in the last 10 years. They actually make me cringe. Like, they're embarrassing. <laughs> Like, how do they, how do they look at themselves in the mirror? Like, they, they're embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing. Like, the only company that's been more embarrassing than them is maybe Konami, but at least they stopped trying. EA still, like, trying to make games, and they're so consistently sad, but, like, Konami was was very clear when they were like, yeah, <laughs> we're done. We're done, dude. We're out of here. And they just fucked off. Why don't they do that? Just fuck off and give up. Come on. Come on. Give it up. It's okay. It's okay, dude. Just be bought by Microsoft already. Microsoft doesn't want EA. <laughs> I, I don't... Look. I wouldn't. EA is, like, actually brand poison, I would say, at this point. Like, I see an EA brand logo, and I immediately think bad product. Like, I it actually would, I think, work against them. What Microsoft would probably rather do is buy, like, the fucking... Like, the developers inside of EA. But... That's, uh... More than Activision Blizzard? Yeah, chat, but the thing is... The thing is about it is... As shitty and fucking miserable as Activision Blizzard is, as, like, fucking awful as everything going on in there is, and how just disgusting everything is, uh, they still made better games in EA, undeniably. <laughs> They still consistently still made better games than EA. Which is sad. Debatable? It isn't debatable. It is f genuinely not debatable. Because, like, Call of Duty still works. <laughs> and, like, 2042 just flat out, like, doesn't. Like, they, the problem is that... Activision was still able to make things. Even with as shitty as some of them were, they still like work. EA shit like just doesn't. Aside from Apex, like that's all they had. Apex is better than Overwatch. Those are not comparable games, my guy. <laughs> Those aren't comparable games. That's like, just not a thing you can compare. Those are different genres. Like, I get that you want to fucking make comparisons to, like, fucking get one up on the devs, but they're just not the same. I understand your enthusiasm, though. I get it. Apex is a battle royale, and Overwatch is a hero shooter. That is... It's just not fair to compare games like that can compare like paladins <laughs> or like battle boards <laughs> but uh yeah i really don't i just think apex is a better fps if we're going to just go and be like hey this FPS is better than this FPS, then I can list about a thousand games that are a better FPS than Apex is. Like this, like that's a very broad comparison. That's a, that's a wildly unfair, like just comparison to make, just be like, yeah, <laughs> this is a better first person shooter. That's a huge net. Like I get it, but that's a huge net. Dusk is a better FPS than Apex. You know, it's like that that makes the net so large that you'll never be able to pull a meaningful comparison from anything at that point. Doom Eternal is a better FPS than Apex Legends. 
Pokemon Snap is a first-person shooter and therefore is eligible to be compared to Cruelty Squad, and I for one believe Cruelty Squad to be a superior FPS. I don't know, dude. <laughs> dude, I... <laughs> They already made an FPS Pokemon fan game. I know, and I also saw like Nintendo was just very quick on the draw to delete those videos. And other people were very quick on the draw to reply to those videos with the videos again. <laughs> and so the cycle continues. It's almost as if you can't just take things off the internet. It's almost as if it's not that easy, Nintendo. You say that, but Pal World is a game that exists and is being developed. Is that using Pokemon models still? Or was ever? Because that's why it hasn't been shut down. Uh, the reason that the videos for that Pokemon, like, shooter got shut down is because they were literally using Pokemon models and were on screen gunning down like Nidorino and stuff. Like that's why it got taken down. If it's not using it, Nintendo can't take it down as quickly because they can't just be like, that is literally our product. <laughs> you literally ripped Pikachu out of our game and now he's making stuff in like a sweatshop. Like they didn't do that. So Nintendo can't just be like, can't as quickly just be like, hey, stop it. But when a video on Twitter is like, I just designed a fully integrated uh, and uh, interactive hunting game where I hunt down and gun down Pikachu and then skin it for hide. Uh, Nintendo is, it's a lot easier for Nintendo to be like, you, you just, hey, um, stop that. Isn't that just Monster Hunter? True. For my next critical comparison, I will compare Hunter Call of the Wild to Monster Hunter. They both have Hunter in the name. I just take it the shit now. I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna play the game. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. Hey, I'm back. What's up? Did you do some stupid bullshit in the chat? Because sometimes I gotta like scroll up to check. Be honest. Nintendo claimed a rock in my video as a Pokemon they own. That's a good chat message. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine Nintendo's just one day is like that's Geo dude, <laughs> like in random movies and stuff. Hey, that's my Geo dude, and they just start claiming movies, enhance that image. That looks just like Geo dude. They put Geo dude in this. You owe us a lot of money. You see, this is what's gonna be fucked up is eventually Nintendo's gonna run out of ideas for Pokemon and they are gonna straight up just be like, 
This one looks just like a rat. <laughs> this one's really just a dog. And then they can then they can do whatever they want everywhere. Like it's the final end game of Pokemon is them just being like, these ones are all just normal animals. And then they can just like fucking copyright strike like planet Earth. Like the documentary, take it all down. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's Hippomon, the hippo. You're going down. All right, it's time. I'm gonna play uh, Industrian now. There used to be audio in this game. There we go. Okay, audio synced, that's good. Ew, games! Yeah, that's right, that's right. Games, video games. Apparently this game is 12 minutes long, so buckle in, it's gonna be a long one uh, today. My eyes, <laughs> my eyes too bright. Bear with it, get some sunglasses on. This game's called Industria. It has RTX enabled. Literally. It literally has RTX enabled. And I've enabled all the RTX. And then I turned on DLSS, which I'm not sure I need. But, uh... I'm gonna have it on on quality, because I hate frame FPS drops. I hate them. So, uh... This game's got, like, all the future settings that you need in the future to have a game. We'll see if it works. All right, chat. So if you don't know what this game is, neither do I, but I think it's like an alternate future where like robots are angry and hate us, which sounds like the normal future, but it's kind of the past. It's like we go, we are in the past and then we go to the future, but the future is like 1984 or some like bullshit. And then it's like kind of the future, but then, so it's kind of like the past, but also the future. It's like retro future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? All right, new game. Uh, here's the thing, chat. I love hard games, but um, this can go. This last bullet here can go fuck itself. Uh, is the reason I'm not gonna play it on hardcore. Like this right here is the reason I will not play it on the hardest difficulty. I fucking hate manual like you have to find this special tube to save your game in our fucking game that you don't know anything about <laughs> you'll have to play it on the hardest of difficulties we've hidden all the save points behind qtes uh-uh i'll play on normal thank you This is how you know I've never played this game at all is because I already got an achievement. Checkmate chat. Thinking I already played it. Gross hands. Oh, the RTX! The game cannot handle the RTX! Nora. That was a bad sign! Nora's not on here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just came in from the office. I just fell asleep on the sofa. I was dreaming of really weird things. Are you still in the office working? Yes, uh, I saw you leaving. Listen, our central processing unit Atlas is out of control. I just discovered parts of it all over our servers. We'll just shut it down then. Impossible. True. It's too far already. But there is something else. People just turn it off. It's happening. Comrade Shabowski publicly said that the wall is open in a press conference just one hour ago. Wait, what? They closed down the office. The Stasi is already here. They are taking everything apart. Wow, oh, look work. at the graphics on that TV. What the fuck? That looks like real life. Wait, let me come over. We'll figure it out. No, I, I don't 
want to drag you into this. I need to leave now. What do you mean you need to leave? Walter, wait, stop. I love you more than anything, but... Walter, wait. W Walter, hello? Walter? Did he just hang up on me? Walter, have you tried turning the machine off and on? Walter? Very worried about the... Actually, it's not... <laughs> hang on. I gotta lock the mouse. I think, I think the FPS dropped when you're rendering something. Because it's fine now. Is that visual screen tearing? Oh, there's no V. Is V-Sync on? No. There we go. Let's see if that fixes that. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Is that screen tearing I can genuinely see perfectly? I really need to look for Walter. Just to oh, I can't believe fucking Walter hung up on me! Walter, you fuck! Oh! Oh! Walter! Walter! Why? Why would you hang up on me, Walter? Walter! Damn. Chill. Log off and chill. Walter! You old bastard! I should leave now. Stasi might have closed the facility down already. I d this is what you get for hanging up on me. Wait, this is my house. Fuck! <laughs> so means I like thought Walt like Walter would care. <laughs> this is uh, this is my place. I'm bringing this with me. Wait, no. I Warf sure. Sardellan fillets. The language is so beautiful. So anyways, I grabbed my knife. Walter? Oh, a letter. Diary. Sometimes when I see diary, I just think I just think it says dairy. And I'm like, fuck yeah, we got a dare we got a whole page for dairy in this game, and I'm always disappointed. You know? It's not a minus two, it's not even a joke! There's not- there's literally not a joke there! I was- I was just saying something! Fuck you! It seems our attempts to transmit living tissue have come to a sobering stop. Initial tests were done on a microscopic plankton, a test which it seems to be successful. Uh, as the subjects continued to thrive for days after. Then we tested on algae, at which point the side effects became slightly more apparent. Some of the algae survived the process, and really, other than a slight variation of color, it seemed fine. Okay, cool. My house is lovely. I also can't fucking see because I have a lamp behind my monitor that's blinding me. It's dark in the game. There we go. Who the fuck has a photo? That's fucking creepy. Get that out of here. That, like, scared me. <laughs> Sad children in front of weapons. So mad at Walter. This is how I pad the game, because there's only 12 more minutes in it. Yeah, I do stuff like this. Whoa, I got simulated jumping hands. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I don't need these. Walter. Mr. Johnson, I'm heading out. Mr. J Mr. Johnson. Just so you know, I'm leaving. So, uh, if anyone comes to my door and leaves any packages, can you bring them inside, like, your, your, your house so they don't get stolen? Okay. Locked out of your apartment. I'm not locked out of my apartment. I'm fucking actually locked out of my apartment. Mr. Johnson! <laughs> 
Mr. Johnson, just so you know, uh, later I'm gonna be crashing at your place. I just locked myself out of my fucking house. If you see the, if you see the landlord, let him know. Thank you. He's really padding hard. Yeah, sometimes, you know, this is my fastest speech, Chad. It's not, it's barely even padding. I'm not that fast. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to leave. Damn, dude, you guys see that RTX on? The Stasi. Walter wasn't kidding. Bro, look at that resolution. That's called RTX, baby. That's the future. I paid $3,000 for this scalped GPU. <laughs> So I can see stuff like this. I can literally see the future. <laughs> That's three thousand dollars. Worth it. All right, where the fuck is my uh, job? This is wait. Is this my maximum speed? Hang on, chat. Walking speed, running speed. This character can barely fucking move. I'm dead if a robot attacks me. I'm fucking dead. Can I break into other people's houses? No. Okay. It's like a nightmare. It really fucking is. I'm not fast. What the? Huh? A tangent resonance. It's not usually like that. You mean a blackout? You mean like a like a brownout or a blackout lady? You sound like a jackass when you say things like that. Just say like d <laughs> a resonance cascade. <laughs> a brownout. Yeah, chat. That's when like the electricity only sort of goes out, it, like just flickers a little bit and then comes back like instantly. It's also when you uh, poop yourself. Which is probably what some of you guys are more familiar with. Here we are. This car is very small. Uh, I, I haven't even been bothering, like, sprinting because it's really no difference in speed for me. The police are already here. This is the least threatening police officer vehicle I've seen in my entire life. I wouldn't stop for this. I'd keep doing crimes every day of the goddamn week if I saw that thing. I wouldn't stop for a fucking second if that thing showed up. Where is everyone? Hello? Huh. Is anyone here? Shaking. Uh, keep documents ready, security zone one. I think I want to take secure- I think I want to, like, go downstairs, right? Probably? Wait a minute, but there's doors over here. Let me try these doors first, just to be sure. Hello? Locked. Hello? Also locked. Okay, we're leaving. Walter? Walter? Dude, look at that RTX! Hang on. Just gonna check something. You need DLSS to make our. You need it. You have to have it. Am I still dreaming? You have to have it. Focus, Nora. Focus. Walter, you better Walter? be dead or dying if you hung you up here? on me, you old fuck. Where are you? Come on. This game's uh, not good. Is the uh, first thing I'm, I'm I'm sorry to have to point out things like this. Unplayable. Walter? The fuck is he? He left his key card? Oh, could be useful. <laughs> that could be useful. All right, let's uh, get the fuck out of here. Can I read this? 
consequences. I want to inform you that Comrade Shabowski, that's a good fucking name, Shabowski publicly said in a press conference 45 minutes ago that GDR citizens are free to cross the borders. I was just collecting all documents you can. There will be consequences to your program. We sincerely wish you all the best, K. Okay. Where the hell is Walter? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel like I'm about to get like a lot of radiation in my body. Like, it just sort of feels like that setting. When I turn a corner, this is gonna be like an open nuclear reactor. It really does. Code list, memorize these. Memorize these right now. Memorize all of them. Hope you did. It's gonna be on the test. Uh, Walter? Walter? You around here, man? I swear to God, if Walter opened some kind of time portal and went to the past, which is also the future, with robots this time, I'm gonna be so freaking PO'd, I'd break up with him. Break up with him. I'd break up with him on the spot. What is this, an antique? Wow, that's actually like... That, was, that really landed. That's a pretty solid piece of material. Atlas by Walter Rebel. Dear Professor Dr. Walter Rebel, it is an honor to tell you that our Board of Scientists has decided to give you the Innovation Award for Outstanding Scientific Achievements in 1975. Your work on the Artificial Intelligence Atlas is unmatched not only in the German Democratic Republic. Congratulations, we can't wait for your future endeavors. What, his last name's fucking Rebel? That's a little on the nose. I hope he doesn't do anything like rebellious, like go back in time or do something like ill-advised with the time-space continuum. That'd be really fucking bad. I hope it's not, I hope that isn't like a, like a, you know, new diary entry. I need to ax, I need an access code to gain entrance to the machine chamber. There's normally a list of daily codes in the archive room. All right, chat. Come on. I told you to fucking memorize it. All right, get rid of the person that said that one. Next. All right, everyone that said that one gets VIP'd for life. We're dying, by the way. Dude, I love this RTX. Look at that. You can see it flicker, just like real, just like real reflections. They, f they I paid five thousand dollars <laughs> from this GPU. All right, what's up? This doesn't look good at all. The 10 tag is not active. That's not good. What about the nine tag? Some sort of arm. Is that a whale? Uh, what about this one? Seven days. Oh wait, this is days. A tag is a day. So, it, 24 hours of time had passed and it was this cup. Then, 48 hours, and it was a thing. 72 hours, and it was that. Then, 96. Five days. What the fuck? Six days, turned into chairs. Seven days, is that thing again. Eight days was whale, nine days was arm thing. And 10 days was nothing. All right, let's just get, there's something weird going on. We're getting out of here. Let me see if there's any notes I can read. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, fall. Wait, hang on. <clears throat> a brilliant machine. Three or three. The machine was quickly shut down then and there, but as we entered the chamber and peered inside, in the center of the chamber was a rat, but its body was contorted and the skin was rearranged. Its bone structure seemed to be irregular. You really wouldn't have guessed it was a rat. I know this machine is utterly brilliant, but it's beginning to show its ugly side. He missed a note, dude. Fucking embarrassing. He doesn't know how to find fucking notes. He can't go back! Fuck! 
Whatever, I don't care. How bad could it really be? Oh my god, what is happening? Why is it checking that bad? Well, Tech, I swear to fucking god, if you're Walter, doing some. Are you here? Yeah, he's gonna hear you. Don't what worry. What's happening here? Don't worry, lady. Why is it He'll hear it. Wrong? Walter, no one hangs up on me! You better be dead in there! You're gonna. You're gonna wish you were! Oh boy, what's happening? Oh, that was my elevator. That's gonna be so hard to get from out of there. Huh. Nice. I wrote down, I'm writing down something in my diary. The shock waves destroyed the crane. I have to find an alternate path up to the sender. Dude, imagine building this whole giant thing and then just putting one rat in it and seeing what happens to the rat. It feels like a waste of money, Walter. Hey, Walter. I'm not... I'm just saying. Mm. 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 I mean, I like the visuals. Okay, Google. <laughs> Hang on, everyone just calm down. I'm sure this isn't timed. I'm gonna pull open Google Translate. Let's see what this says. Google. What have we got here? This is gonna be German, which I have to download, I believe. No, wait, no, I don't. It is really struggling. Welcome in section two of the ESA appendix. Every employee is required to wear a safety helmet. Okay. To fa failing to comply with this protective measure, immediate termination is to be expected. Access is prohibited to unauthorized persons. I got there. It's a safety warning. I'm not wearing a helmet. And I can't find one, so we're moving forward. That's the most German thing ever. Safety helmets? <laughs> Dude, classic German. It just says, don't come in. I can read German perfectly. It says, don't go in there. Just don't go in there, please. I'm running as fast as I can. Walter? He did it. Walter, what did you do? <laughs> Brilliant. He did it. He entered the machine, and God knows where he's ended up. He went back in time. Walter, you I fuck up. It. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is I'm bad. I'm coming for you, Walter. You can't leave me here. You tell me this girl's about to chase after him back in time? Oh my god, we are. It's called true love. Fuck this guy! Okay. I gotta manually set the <laughs> This is next level tax evasion. That's like legit all it is. Like there's like a fucking there's like a government destabilization and the guy sends himself back in time! And now we are! It's like a minor inconvenience to his work, and he's like, I gotta go back in time. I'm just gonna fuck off. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I won't die like this. Ah, uh, okay, so starting sequence, let's take let's pay attention to this. Starting sequence, I'm not I'm gonna be fine. Error 3A. Okay. Not a problem. 7A. What the fuck is there it is? 7A. Where'd this come from? Uh 5B. Okay. 1A. Alright. Guys, I think I'm about to die. I think, uh, I think I'm about to explode. I 
Did I fuck it up somehow? Finally. Oh, no, I just need to confirm get it. Get me the hell out of here. Wait, so did she give up? Because it sounds like she just wanted to get out of it. She didn't actually care about finding Walter. See, what's going to be funny is when she telefrags Walter in the past. <laughs> what's going to be funny is when she telefrags him and blows oh, him up into a million pieces. Oh my god, going is after this right? Him. Badass. What's happened? Oh my god. Oh my god. The hell? Oh my god. Okay. You're in the blue realm now. You've been placed into the orb. <laughs> my play button. What? Oh my god, we went so far! This is what it was like back in the 40s! There was no color! Fuck! How far back did we go? Shit. Where are we? This doesn't look like the 40s. I don't understand what this is. Some Google! <laughs> Google, activate. This is some kind of German. Hang on. I always knew their lang their language was whack, but this is ridiculous. Hang on. I gotta like, take a picture of what Google thinks this says. <laughs> Google, it's actually fucking hurting my- it's like heating up my phone to try to translate that. Someone translate that for me now! Hello? Wait, that just goes. Are we like in the? Whoa. Uh. Let's just go. Hello. Walter, you're fucking dead when I find you. You better be dead. You better have like turned into a red or something. I swear to God. Walter. Oh fuck this, dude. Walter. Yep, I'm out of here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, done with that room. <laughs> when uh, when you see someone walk out into a stage, you start floating, you leave. Metaverse beta. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, we had to like load up the map for RTX. There we go. Walter? Walter? What the fuck does that say? <laughs> Zer. It says to machine, but it says Zer Presentation, which really just means to presentation, I'm going to assume. Uh, unless machine means presentation. All right, chat, we got ourselves a weapon. And the game auto-saved, which means I'm in super duper danger. Hello? Walter? Dude, the future is all weird. Wait a minute. 10, 2010 or 1910? Walter? Or is that just multiple tens? It might not be a date. We're in... What the fuck is that thing? Oh, that was a rat. I think that was just a rat. What is this? This is a flashlight? Okay, it had a pretty bulky battery. And it's already mostly out. Wow, that battery is burning through fast. 
Let's just keep that off. Bro, look at that RTX fucking water. I really, really like it. Huh? Machine invasion. Please report any machine sighting to your local police department. Dude, imagine looking outside and you see a fucking toaster rolling down the street, like, awkwardly. Like, boom, 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 just, like, rolling on all of its sides. English only for the news. Well, that's how we lost. That, well, that's how the, the Germans or wherever the hell we are lost, is because they were just like, what if, we don't have any... We can't print any of these articles in German and like, we, we lost the fucking key, like the font for it. So they switched it all to English. So no one understood that there's anything wrong. Hello? So machine. I don't understand this fucking language in there. How do you, like, even figure out what the fuck... Whatever. Whoa! It's 5G. That's what it does. <laughs> Look at this guy. Got all melted. I can't do anything about him. Oh! So this is where the saves would be if I had the hardcore version on. Meaning this is the first time I would have been able to save if there was a bug or anything. Scary. Alright, well, I'm glad I'm not playing on that. What? Huh? What the fuck was that? Did you guys do that? What the hell is that? Was that some kind of... Like, robot? Well, if I was trying to be quiet. Water! Water! Alright. I'm out. Take a look around. Numbers. And a sturdy pick X. Alright. <laughs> Damn, lady, calm the fuck down. Can I turn off my crosshairs? Yes. Cool. I like turning off my crosshairs. I don't know about most people, but unless I'm playing on like some super psycho game, I don't like crosshairs. I like as little UI as possible. I fucking seem to hit this board. I feel bad for a robot that comes after me, dude. I got... What the hell are those? What those like... Hello? Some kind of balls. Robot hives of some kind. Now I know there's not some kind of sentient... Yo, this game's got some good atmosphere, dude. It's very Half-Life-esque. An elevator. Maybe that's the way out of this terrible place. I can't walk over there. Wait, yes I can, I just can't clear these. You guys, uh... I don't know who you are, but if you want to live longer than five minutes, you should probably get the hell out of there. Then tell me how! The elevator needs... <laughs> machines through the door underneath me are your only hope. Dude, I'm strong as fuck. Who are you? Hey, wait, wait, hey. come back! I got distracted because I'm, like, actually strong enough to pick this whole thing up and... Throw it! Well, uh, should I just go back to the elevator? I'm guessing this was supposed to break. 
Oh, I tried it. Yep. It seems to be missing power. Then I gotta go and figure out how to turn on the power. Hang on, I got a note here. Arrival of Rosendell. September 11th, 1989. Or November 9th, 1989. It depends on... I guess it's probably it's probably November 9th. Technically. Uh, on yesterday's evening, the Royal Scientists in the Institute of Applied Science, Hakovic, were surprised by an otherworldly experience working on a not-yet-confirmed project inside the Institute. An explosion shaked the building. People living nearby described it as an earthquake that slowly came to an end about 20 minutes after the first sign of it. When the smoke cleared, an elegant man in a suit stood right in front of the scientist. Police arrested the mysterious... Oh, get owned, Walter. Get fucked, Walter. Fuck you. Fuck you, Walter. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> LOL. Imagine going back in time and instantly getting arrested. <laughs> Imagine being that lame. <laughs> Couldn't be me. All right, let's see here. Where the hell are we? What's going on? In the place with the books where green and white meet. I don't think batteries stack. Wait, but this is where green and white meet. I can't take these. Oh, yes, I can. What are these? Sulfuric acid. Nitric acid. Can I just have like some extras just to take? Cool. I mean, I might like want these later, you know what I mean? Like, that, that might be like a cool bonus to have to play around with some nitric acid, you know? Move! Hello? Do I have to make acid? Good for treating rust. So I need H3O4P and propan, apatite, and sulfuric acid. What the fuck is... Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Okay, sulfuric acid. We'll go right here. And sure, nitric acid. It's gonna kill me. I should just walk away. Wait, why the fuck are all these? What are these then? Boric acid, heavy water, ammonia. God damn it! I thought it was just some bullshit French word. <laughs> I didn't think it was a real chemical. I thought it was some bullshit. All right, give me a second. The streamer can't science. Look, dude, I took AP Bio, okay? And the last thing my teacher ever did before I took my exam was say we were all gonna fail it because he didn't have time to teach us everything that was gonna be in the exam. So I'm not really a science guy, okay? We all got sat down and told we would never pass the exam. And then, and it was, he was right. <laughs> he, he was right. This won't blow up. So what did I get there? Rust remover. I can splash this onto robots to make them more powerful when I finally give up on trying to survive. See, the thing is, I gotta like turn off the lights every once in a while because th all the pick up items in the game glow in the dark with like a radiation. Dude, Into the Radius got a bunch of updates recently and it makes me want to play it again, dude. Chat, <laughs> chat, I don't know. That's rust. It over. Got a bunch of like graphical yeah. stuff. Apparently they like fixed up how trees look at a distance so it looks way better. No? And the robots? Pistol rounds, that's not good. Beans, that's not good. <laughs> Don't just eat those, lady. You can't just like eat beans. You need to find Walter. God damn it. Oh, there's gonna be a robot down here. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just throw things around sometimes. Is that more beans? Hello? Give me this. Pour me blues. <laughs> it, it, this girl's really strong, though. To be honest. Did you guys see how fast I just did, I took down those fucking things? Is... Hang on. First of all, Great Patchy, thanks for the 50 fucking gifted subs. Thank you very much, 50 gifted goddamn subs. The FPS of the game looks really weird on my OBS. Is that just me? Is, like, it fine for you guys? Because I haven't seen, like, anyone complaining in chat about it. It's on the stream, too. It's washable. It's definitely supposed to be smooth. Hang on. Hold up. Usually when there's a problem with this, it's some bullshit like I'm not in full screen windowed, even though it shouldn't matter. Let me, let me do some tinkering because there's definitely something weird. Turn off ray tracing. The thing is that like none of this stuff is things that should matter because I'm using a capture card. So it shouldn't actually cause any issues. Also, for some reason, turning off VSync broke my uh, mouse. Weird. Now my mouse is broken. <laughs> I have to hold right click to move my mouse now. Hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a quick like little unplug and replug of the thing. Sometimes stuff just is weird and it might just be placebo and that's why I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Cause I don't, I think sometimes if I bring it up, it, people suddenly notice something that doesn't exist. But I'm gonna replug in my uh, capture card just to be sure. Just to be a hundred percent sure, so I don't, so it's not like an accidental thing. Because there isn't. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure this turns off and on. V sync. Well, you gotta remember, chat, that nothing in my computer settings actually impacts the game's display. Um, because quite literally, I use a capture card for everything. So my performance on the PC doesn't isn't relevant to um anything because the capture card just captures what's on the pc display uh looks fine now let's see yeah that fixed it weird yeah i just had to restart it that's better glad i checked yeah it's <laughs> whatever that whatever i did fixed it so let's keep playing All right. Coal. Oh, that means coal. Dude, we're like learning German. how German is just honestly stealing so many words from America. <laughs> kind of lame. Kind of lame. Where'd you learn all those words from? <laughs> Where'd you learn those from, brother? Sounds awfully familiar. What was I doing? I got distracted by like the, um, by that performance thing. Ah. Uh, the fuck was I? I activated a call thing. Hang on, I gotta climb up this. I pulled the lever and then this thing spat out a bunch of trash. Hang on, let me go back over there. <laughs> Can't reactivate. Oh, hang on, there's a lever. I mean, a valve. What am I, what is my character? Am I lighting it on fire? What is my, I gotta check my diary. Lift in the main hall is not working. If I can restore the power, is this uh 
That, does this look on to you guys? <laughs> oh, there's more of these levers. Hang on, I just gotta turn these now. Damp control. That means, uh, steam control. Yeah, when I turn that, nothing happens. I don't think there's power. I think I gotta, like, do something to get this thing lit. I'm hearing the sound of gas. I'm hearing, like, gas sound on the wasser, which is water. We got water, we got coal, we got, uh, there's gotta be, like, one more lever I need to spin somewhere. And then all this will turn on, no problem. Wait, is that a vent right there? <laughs> nope, that has no collision at all. You can't just climb things, chat. It's not that easy. Going over here. There's gotta be other missing things, cause I got bad, I got all distracted and threw me off. Oh, here we go. Hold up. Nope, there's an invisible wall right here. Am I a fucking idiot? Don't answer that. I don't want to, I don't want you to bring me down just yet. I need something to light a fire. I need a bomb. Someone grab one of the bombs I told you to pack on this trip right now. And throw it into this thing. Now. Did you pack the bombs? Oh. Why didn't you tell me I had those, you fuckers? Come on. This doesn't seem safe. Yeah, that's lit. That's fire. You can tell it's fire because it's a, it's real fire because it has a solid, like you can't you can't get through the fire. Like it's a physical entity. All right, so now we hit the steam. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Oh, shit! Well, we got it turned on. Let's get the fuck out of here. You think this will alert the robots? Wait, none of these things are spinning. Does that mean the power is on or is it off still? These belts are decorative anyways, doesn't matter. All right, power should be on. Oh fuck. All right, everyone shut the fuck up. Back off, man! Where are you going? Killed your friend. I'm gonna have to kill you too. I heal. I'm fine. I'll be fine. The strength of a god. Yeah, I'm kind of a strength build. Keen Zura. Okay, this is the first time I've seen a uh, word in German that didn't like directly, obviously translate to like, cause like I felt like before I could basically speak German by just adding like some funny syllables to words. This one's the first time where it's like, oh, super duper not though. There's more of those eggs. <laughs> Robots live in eggs. We know this. Hello. There's another one. And everyone we'll just shut the fuck up. This is more of a stealth game than a real game. Wait, is that a gun? <laughs> Hang on. End of the line, fucker! It's not loaded! <laughs> the gun wasn't loaded. Now I got it. Yep. Alright, so yeah, that's you. Okay. Hey. You dead? They're dead. 
Okay, well, got some more battery. I'm not really afraid of the robots. Okay, they are kind of spooky, though. But they die really easy. They're kind of... These robots are sort of pussies. But I am playing on normal. So that might be something to do with it. Any more robots around? Blocked. Can't go this way. Oh fuck, I need to use like part like a like a jumping puzzle to get up here. Yeah, I played Half-Life. I don't know what to tell you. Alright. 6th of January 1991. I need to stop this madness. Our new King Rosendahl, the man from another place, really does believe in the new power, but since the silent energy, as they call it, flows out of the Institute and into our households and factories, I have a bad feeling. This is too good to be true. This just can't come without a trade-off. I will keep an eye on this machine and on Rosendahl's plans. Walter, you fucker. He really went back in time and did like the I'm the king of the Hello? past and future. Somebody there? Uh, you voice? Hello? Uh, it's you. This fucking Here's guy. The elevator. Congratulations. Who he became are you? the king. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you because, you know, you came here, not the other way. I can't get back up. Well, I'm, uh, I'm just a traveler. Uh, huh. Oh, well, I mean, after saving your life, I kind of expected a, just a, a tad more information. Okay, uh, I, I come from, a different place. That's some I'm, bullshit. I'm He's gonna know. Who arrived here just before me. Well, welcome to Hakovic, then. I come from uh, I the yeah. Uh, I come from the oh, uh, France. I come from France. This city was evacuated ten years ago. Well, maybe then you just missed him. Maybe you just. I mean, you can hardly miss the machine growling and shaking the whole block. It hasn't been doing that for a long time, you know. Hey, lady, maybe from context clues you should grab that the last time it shook was the time when your guy showed up and became king. Really? I'll tell you more outside. You stupid? You some kind of idiot? Something is not right here. You showed up late. You don't know how to use the machine. This, uh... I didn't mean to jump down here. Oh, I'm at the eggs. Look, chat. You can, you can tell they're growing. <laughs> Robot eggs. Wait, do I need to do something over here? Hang on. Uh, what's this? Pistol rounds, cool. Not sure where I'm going. Oh, I'm back up here. Nice. So what am I doing? Why am I... Why am I... Here? What is my... Reason? Oh, I guess to leave. Yeah. That was a nice room of nothing. Yep. Next robot I see is gonna get gunned down really hard, dude. I'm just telling you right now. I'm going to rip them up. Kind of almost feel bad about it. I'm in some sort of cafe. This music is creepy as hell. A little aid to calm you down. You're welcome, by the way. You're nearly there. I'm not sure if the music helps or makes it worse. I'm like sitting down at the old tea, tea cafe and getting advertised beans with tomato sauce. It's like good old days. Yep. Any fucking robots? It's 
Something's ar something's wrong, chat. I'm looking around. I don't see beans anywhere. Atlas by Vevelstad. Public announcement, citizens of Hakovic. It is to my disappointment to learn that the ongoing attacks that we experience and that many of you suffer from every day are most likely organized or at least supported by our neighboring town of Vevelstad. We will do everything in our possibilities to defend ourselves against the threat. I ask every one of you for your trust. We can only do this together. Your elected King Rosendahl, Walter. Who is this person? I don't understand. Your elected supreme overlord, <laughs> Walter. Am I gonna die? I think I'm dead. Oh, no. Ugh! Let's get out of here. I think we're going outside into the street where the monsters are, where the funny robots live. Oh, here I am. Back in the past or the present. The future? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh. <laughs> Do I call someone? That person fell. Where does he come from? I don't know what to do. I'm leaving. Man, this key, this game is reminding me that I still have to play Control. I've never played it. I've been putting it off forever. Still need to play that game. But I had like the ending sort of spoiled for me, which is why I haven't played it yet. Nah, nah, I'm not about this. Weird, weirdo, weirdo. Yep. You see, I know a game is good if people both say that game is amazing and then people also say that game sucked because then I know that it's for a specific kind of person and I'm usually that kind of person. Then when everyone says a game is good like Deathloop, I know it's shit Walter! because they Walter! made it so everyone would like it. And then it just sucks. Will you stop shouting, please? Walter! How did you expect me to find him? Walter! more of the machines that way. Well, I'm all open for suggestions, Mr. Hidden Microphone Man. You see the building on the hill? Yeah. Where all those cables lead to? Mm -hmm. That's the town hall where it used to be. And? Just go there. It, it, it's safe up on the hill. And you might find information about your missing... This girl is a fucking Walter. moron, says <laughs> a chat member. Dude, RTX, bro! Come on, dude! I paid $14,000 for a scrap, for like a fucking scalp GPU, dude, from Best Buy. It was worth it. Fuck yeah! Eggs. Wait, is that robot alive? Hey! Yeah, maybe the robots are mean for a reason. <laughs> That's fucked up. He was just hanging out and I gunned him down. Better luck next time. He had a sword for a hand. Yep. Told you there was something weird. Told you they were evil. Damn, dude, you guys see that tree? The future is crazy, man. What do you guys think the FOV that, uh, on this robot is? You 
think one hit's gonna be enough to. Oh. Yeah, the melee isn't great. I think the best way to handle combat is to shoot them like three times and then hit them with the hammer, or like the the stick once. I feel like that's I feel like that's how I deal with robots. This is like really nice. This is kind of like I'd hang out here. SMG rounds and a health fight. Should be some supply crews. Nice. Well, we got everything we could from here. Let's get the hell out of here. Something in there. Don't think I could open it. Definitely a little bit chunkier on the performance now that we're outside. Not sure how much longer my uh, 14,000 million dollar GPU can handle the RTX. Am I getting fucking shot at? Oh, Jesus. Stop! Is that you, Walter? I will fucking... I swear to... It's just some robot fuck. Now what will you do? Yeah. These robots are not very perceptive. That was like a Terminator. And like this one didn't even hear it. Oh, I missed. Okay. I'm not really throwing people as far as I used to anymore. It's kind of bullshit. Ah, uh, the guns. I'm just gonna stick with the gun. That one was screaming, like, to get away from me. Did you hear that? I shot him four times, and he went like, Aah! And he started trying to run away. He wasn't coming at me. Damn, dude, they even have fully hydraulic toes that wiggle when they die. They're just like us. They're just like us. They wiggle just like us. All right, let's do the old... Let's let me clear out some space on my mouse pad. No, oh, it's still stained. Hang on, I got like I got too many bottles on my desk. To throw someone around. If I also boost my sensitivity. Where'd they go? I must have thrown them so far. I don't even see them anymore. They're gone. Is that them up there? That's a bird. I lost them. Poof. Gone. Sent I sent them away. Wait. Damn it. Whatever. Let's get that. Let's get out of here. This game's only got like five minutes left in it. Mm, not seeing much of anything in here. Kind of a ghost town. Something's, something's wrong, Chad. I think this future is not exactly like my future. You know what I mean? Wow, this is where the next save spot was? Damn. Yeah, not playing on hardcore was a good call. You can also open every one of these drawers. Yeah, I don't use, uh, I don't use the pickaxe anymore. I need a shotgun, dude. They're showing off that there's a shotgun in this game. I wouldn't mind, like, a shotgun. Something with a little bit more damage than this pistol. What is this even doing? Stop. Oh, wait. Oh. All right. That was an accident, but I did it. I've solved the mystery. I can get past this checkpoint now. Wait a minute. This guy looks like he might have been kind of like people. Hold that thought. This guy looks like he might have been kind of like people. Look, he has like a neck thing. Dude, stop. How many more of these do I have to kill? All right. Hell yeah, brother. I knew you'd be down with that. 
Look, chat, if there's one thing I think all of humanity would be pretty, like, agreed upon with is, like, rising up against an, a robot uprising. I feel like everyone would be like, yeah, let's get them. Like, I think that I think that'd be the first time we as a whole uh, society finally really band together is against a, a bunch of freaking toasters. Wrong. Yeah, nah, nah, for sure, nah. Because <laughs> you'd have people like me that would be like, yeah, but, like, I don't know, the Matrix doesn't sound that bad. And then I'd be matrixed, <laughs> which would sort of thin out the number of people rising up against. Whoa! What the fuck? What's your problem? What's up with all the noise? Something like broke. Like honestly, yeah, no, nah, for real. If a robot, if the robots rose up, tried to take us all down, and then like. They came up to me and they were like, if you just don't get involved, we'll give you a jetpack. I'd be like, sorry, gang. <laughs> they made me a promise. They literally, I cannot. This bird crashed into a, f <laughs> I found what the noise was. This crazy freaking bird from the future past fucking blew up so hard. <laughs> Bro, are you okay? Let's take you with me. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you a doctor. Fly away. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Hey, back off! Only... I felt sort of bad about that, dude. That thing was kind of cute. They look like little idiots. <laughs> dude, fucking for real though. I will gun you down if you come after me. Little robo turkeys. So, where is everyone? What happened here? I don't know, the robots? Town was evacuated after years of war. Atlas was too strong in the end. Um, Atlas? Yikes, oh, dude! Sorry. Yikes! Uh, these machine things that want to kill you, they're Atlas. Man, it must be really fucking like a huge oh. bummer if you go into an alternate dimension timeline yeah, and you yeah, find out uh, that like yeah, yeah, that yeah. one time you didn't flush your toilet or whatever oh, was like the thing that ended the whole world and ruined uh, life for everyone. Wouldn't that fucking suck? <laughs> like, dude, like Atlas is a pretty big deal, but imagine if it's like, oh yeah, this fucking one time someone like jaywalked and it cost us everything. <laughs> cost us everything. Cost us yeah. everything. It sure seems to. Oh, oh, wait, hold on a sec. Am I? So is this guy gonna try fucking kill me when he finds out that I, in fact, created Atlas? Or I guess participated in the creation uh, of Atlas? Uh, I have to get the kettle off the boil. That's okay. Uh, and, and who is this Rosendahl? Turning up the volume so oh, she can hear it. Rosendahl. So she can hear it, because she doesn't- she won't believe it. He tried his best, but even he wasn't strong enough to fend off Atlas. Uh, I see. Well... Oh, was he a good guy? Uh, over and out, I- I gotta think. And you drink your tea. Over and out. I'd concentrate more on fighting than thinking, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off your microphone! What the hell is happening here? Yeah, I'd be more careful about you than me, lady. <laughs> hot mic, hot mic. Ugh. Hey, I mean, look, dude. We're getting close to that building. The O D O D D Center. They misspelled center. What are these guys stupid? <laughs> Dude, German is weird. Am I being followed by something? The writing in this game seems pretty nice so far. Yeah, I haven't seen 
I mean, I haven't been blown away by anything in this game. There's definitely nothing in it that's been, like, bad at all. I like the visuals a lot. Although I think I'm more biased toward, I think I prefer like countryside robot stuff closer to like uh, what we had with like uh, Generation Zero than I do like like dense cities. If that makes sense. But that's not, not that's not me saying this is bad because it isn't that. It's just like that's usually what I prefer in my like. I, I like it when robots are in a place where there shouldn't be robots at all. I never got the shotgun, dude. Kind of freaking PO'd. I feel like I missed my chance because they keep giving me shotgun shells. Wait, no. I'm looking at the order here of guns on these, like, outlines. It looks like I might not get it for a while. I also am getting performance problems. Uh, which I feel like I shouldn't be getting when the game has DLSS and I have DLSS enabled, right? Or did I turn it off when I was trying to fix that thing? Yeah, no, it's on. I do know that some people definitely graded this. Get fucked! I'm from the future! You just hear that in, like, the distance, like, behind, like, it, it, like behind a wall, like, muffled. Yeah, I, I would not be able to keep it a secret that I'm not from the future for very long if I, like, came from the future, like, back to the past to do something. Dude, you know I'd be yelling every 10 seconds when I, like, do something crazy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, well, well. What have we here? Well, with a gun like this, I could uh, take back the past. Or whatever. <laughs> Activate sensing items mode. Found them. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. It is weird that they do. I get why they do it, but it is a little, like, uh, jarring for immersion. Fisherman's Diary, one of two. Not any other day, I drove out to the fjord at 5 a.m. to check my nets. Just as I was sorting the bycatch, I felt a deep rumbling from inside the fjord itself. I leant far over the railing and could not believe what I saw. Deep beneath the surface was a bluish light emanating. To all that talk about fjords and fishing made me have to go to the bathroom. I will be right back, chat. Hang out in the fucking darkness. With no light and no protection. Bierby? You guys making sound? You know the robots can smell sounds, right? You know the robots can, like, smell sounds, right? The FPS has gotten progressively worse as we've been sitting in the same spot. I think something's making particles. Oh my fucking god! Stop it! Ah! Yep. <laughs> Alright. We lost to these. They've been hitting me. They do damage. And I'm better. Alright, yeah, no, we've been losing to these. 
Wait, what the fuck? RTX? RTX on! RTX! Okay. Did you just move? Are you still alive? That's what I thought. Don't go moving now, all right? I'm crazy. Ah, uh, anything in here? Anything of value? Man, there is one weird thing that I've been seeing with this game that I think everyone started to notice. Do you see this like white thing that happens whenever like you leave a room and like you see, like it like generates everything? That is like freaking me out. I don't know. It's like, oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we lost to these, chat. That's the thing about the war is uh, we actually lost to those. We every Most of humanity has fallen to the robots walking towards you slowly while making sounds. It's because they have functional toes. That's the thing is that a lot of humans, it, we really struggle as a human society to really grasp the dangers of a being that can uh, have like m moving toes and walk at the same time. It costs a lot of people their lives. The FPS is getting worse. I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the, uh, it's getting worse. Performance, falling. Old music sucked. This is like, this is like awful. <laughs> Take it back. Suck self. <laughs> or stop. Dude. <laughs> I love just saying insane things and then watching chat just froth in the mouth like instantly like <laughs> It's fucking fun. You know it, 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 it <laughs> I don't want to keep... Yeah, we lost to these. All humans are dead. What the fuck is this? What? What is this? RTX? RTX son! RTX! RTX! It's a wall. Hmm. Well, nothing in here. Well, nothing in there. Wait. What the fuck is the layout of these apart? So this is an apartment. This is someone's room. This is someone's house right here. So they, this apartment place has its own individual communal tub system. Two tubs, one toilet. And a communal book zone. RTX, RTX zone. RTX? My eyes are bleeding, RTX. Whoa, dude, look, it's some guy. I have to turn down something in the game settings. 
because this level has gotten large and as it gets larger the game gets uh starts to struggle more and more you know, I switch this is like balance that changed that actually made it worse I but I loved RTX it's not even the problem all right I think this is just the game It might be post-process. I'm afraid there are certain things I don't like changing because it like breaks the whole game when you- No, it didn't change anything. This is our life. Look, if we want to fix the visuals, all we gotta do is turn the resolution scale down to 25%. That changed absolutely fucking nothing. Okay, so I'm starting to realize that the game might just have some poor optimization. Which is probably more likely. Uh, we just have to speed run our way out of here. Yeah, we just gotta get out of here quickly. Come on, let's move. I blame Walter. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking thinking. I'm thinking Walter got involved. Oh! Oh, you asked who Rosendahl is, right? Uh, I've got an old, um... Where is it now? Ah, uh, uh, we had tape recording uh, from the last Industria Festival. Wait, that's the name of the game. Ten years of peace and safety. Ten years of Industria. What? Yikes! Citizens of Hackabay. What? This is your Walter, wait, what? wait, 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 that's Walter's voice. What's going on here? Huh. Atlas failed to diminish us. How Atlas failed to scare did you us. know his first we name? Still here, and we this is the man forever. I'm looking for. Where is he? Dead. Rosenthal. Super dead, probably. Against the metallic evil outside you mean, our city walls. You're looking for Rosendahl. No, no. Yes, well, I, I, I'm looking for Walter. Walter Rebel, not Rosendahl. But this is King Rosendahl. Walter Rosendahl. It, it's his voice, his recording. This girl is fucking... These two are so Thank dense. You. They're collectively s making me stupid. And I don't know what's going on here. His voice. His Wait, I'm getting statue. stupider listening to these two so talk. Confused. I want answers. Yes, I'd like a little clarity on this matter myself. Then help me. Where is he? Like I said, he, he left the city after the evacuation he organized. Uh, just continue your way to hey! town hall. Hey! To his old you know where Walter is? Maybe he can find out. Hey! Out. You know where Walter is? What's the fastest way? Uh, you have to cross the old Rosendahl factory in front of you. Oh. After that. Can't miss it. Yeah, this girl's a professional scientist, by the way, who Walter, helped make Atlas Rosendahl. the thing that's destroyed the world. Are you also, kidding me, Walter? Dude, she's got to be really freaking PO'd. But what I'd be starting to get wigged out about, too, is that it's been like 10 years, and when she finds Walter, he's going to be all wrinkly and gross. Wouldn't that be kind of like a fucking bummer? If, like, the person you were, like, dating or, like, married, was, like, aged, like, fucking, like, 20 years and you didn't? Wouldn't that be kind of, like, wild? Like, that's kind of weird. Like, what if he's like an asshole now? Cringe! <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Fuck you! Weird thing! I don't know <laughs> Really cursed when my- <laughs> Why was my first visceral reaction to seeing it was calling it cringe? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, that, that was real, that was real. That was a real reaction I made. Was calling, calling that weird robot cringe and shooting him. Is this what 2022 is gonna be like? Yikes, a new king. The election. Well, the man from another place will be opposing the He also did the same fucking thing? You're telling me Walter also fucking, instead of just saying where he was from, told everyone and they all bought it. The entire fucking community bought it. They, uh, not one of them was like, I don't wanna just... He's not just from another place, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Dude, what? Say where you're from. Ah. Uh, 
out of town. <laughs> the man from out of town will be opposing will be the opposing candidate to Revale, King Dominic III. At a public rally in the Institute of Applied Science, Hackovic Rosendahl explained that Hackovic's only hope is a clear step against the incoming threat he calls Atlas. He further showed many fundamentally changing innovations, including a completely new energy source that could outrun coal and steam energy by far. The lasting unhappiness of the people of Hackovic play into Rosendahl's hands. If Rosendahl wins the election, the city can expect many fundamental changes. If he loses, Dominic III needs to show his strength against the ongoing events. Where are you from? Uh, um, not here. And, and you're telling me that you know, like, a bunch of crazy new ways to bring us into the future? Completely obsoleting everything we've ever uh, done and known in an instant? Hello? <laughs> Actual spooky thing happening? Hello? Made that sound. Ow, 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 ow! Fuck you! They're shooting each other! That one, that front one got shot by his friend. I gotta be careful. This game's been moving without me. I need to use this health file. Oh shit, they're outside. They're outside fucking waiting for me. They're freaking out there, dude. I don't like that that cringe clip is gonna exist. That was like so real. Like that was the worst. Are you, hey dude, dude, he's scared of me. Look, he's shaking. He was hiding more shotgun shells. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Let's roll. This is a secret. Over here's a, a secret box. Yeah, you never run out of shotgun shells. Nope. Dude, I just had to stop that from making the sound. I just had to, I knew someone, I knew people in chat were like, fuck yeah, make the, make the sound. I just had to stop it, I'm sorry. You're never gonna get to hear it. Like the, the 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 relaxing sound of like the thump. Nope. What did I do that for though? Looks like something on the second floor. Can I just cross this? Ah. So what the fuck was that? We lost to these like billions of humans dead. To that weird guy. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I can't even go this way. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! We lost to those. <laughs> These aren't even, they aren't even shooting real bullets, they're airsoft. I just checked. They're just pellets, they're not real. None of these have been real bullets. <laughs> All right, how about you just calm down? How many more of these guys are there? Did that like lower the thing? Oh, I gotta activate another one over here, huh? Yeah, so I've I deactivated one of the two I need. So there's another one in here. I bet there's more of those weirdos in here. This feels like weirdo territory. No, no weirdos. Well, now they know I'm here, but that's sort of what I, that's sort of what I want. Any weirdos? Oh, I see him. Ow! 
Oh, they're bombs. That's what makes them scary, they're bombs. I think there's, see, this is what's gonna tell us if these, if like humanity should have been able to win. No. We lost to these. Humanity lost to these creatures. Ow! Oh! He got one hit on me and then got scared because he didn't know how to follow it up and then he fucking died. At least the FPS game better again. So we just gotta follow these pipes all the way to the power source. I will say though, the designs of the enemies is great. They're just... It's not very strong. I know hardcore mode would have probably fixed that, but I don't like... I've barely even seen any save points, and that makes me very glad that I didn't use it, if you know what I mean. I guess I'm gonna jump down there. Once I've gotten rid of you, I mean, there's a couple of them. Look at them, they're just scampering. Stop. All right. Stop. Okay, I'm going down there. That hurt me so badly. Well, with this, the robot checkpoint has been reopened. We can keep going forward through the video game. You had a family, you know. I don't care about a robot's family. I had a family, and then he aged 20 years. He's all wrinkly now. He's like the king, but it's like an elected king, which is really just honestly kind of fucking stupid. I think it's... Is there a cow? What is that sound? But we still love him. I don't know about that. Don't say we. Don't say we, all right? I'm a very shallow person. He's got wrinkles. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, please don't. You think I could just casually outrun this guy? With some slight 90 degree turns? No! We lost to these things. They destroyed the entire human race. Dude. Here's the thing, chat, and this is what I keep thinking about now. My fucking husband in this game was so inept that he could, he had to evacuate the city because of these fuckers. Like he had to run away. This guy couldn't clear the fucking first 90 degree turn. They're like, chi they're, they're about as smart as fucking chickens. Look at that. They can't figure it out. Like, we made a bad AI. Atlas was made to act, like, work with, like, Half-Life 2. Like, it's not a, it's like, the, these AI are running on, like, source brain. So they're not that good. Hey, I cannot believe Robert had Tell to run about, from this. Rosendahl. Where did he come from? Well, he arrives here just like you. One day he just appeared in the Institute, to all the scientists' surprise. I can imagine. I'm being he followed. so much knowledge, and he was something like an angel. An angel helping us selflessly. Do we tell this guy that it's Robert's fault? That the AI things. exists well, I, to I begin. King, Do we tell we him? Keep quite a few close to the Do we shatter his world? Speaking of secrets, 
What is your relationship to him? We boned. Well, we, um, you know. We fucked. Okay? Is that what you wanted to hear me say? We're a couple. Huh. You know, in theory, that essentially makes you the queen of Hakovic. Cool, dude. Our queen of ruins. With only one subject, as it seems. Well, better than an old man in a wheelchair, if you ask me, your majesty. I like oh, this guy. On. It's just, uh... It's too bad that my character won't reveal the dark fucking truth. The horrible truth. Dude, what's up with my character's skin? Do you see what's happening to my character's skin right now? Am I dying? Nano machines. <laughs> I got nano machines in my skin. They melt me down. I've got RTX in my skin. <laughs> I got RTX in my skin. I feel like a robot's gonna come just fucking beat the shit out of me right now. That looks like a robot. Don't even try it. Let that be a lesson. Combat music activated. Someone's closing in on me. It's the queen. The fuck is that? Oh, it was a bird. They're fine. They lived. Oh, cool. Right. I got eyes on town hall. It's close. Well then, don't get yourself killed at the last. Hmm, scope's not very good. <laughs> scope's uh, scope leaves a little bit to be desired. For me. I love a scope that has no zoom. Actually, what is that? Two times? Maybe 0. 0.5? 1.5 times zoom? Probably 1.5. Anyways, I can still probably get some headshots. I used to game. I mean, I don't... Here's the thing, chat about this. I feel like it's more effective to just walk at them and hit fire the, the sniper. Like, uh, like an asshole. Where the fuck did that? Oh, I shot him into the wall. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm up a slight uh, ledge. You can't get me. Okay, yeah. Hang on, options. Let's just fucking do this. Let's do this for real. If we're gonna do it. Yep. Might as well be able to see it perfectly. Okay. Might as well just turn on the crosshair for this part until I've used all my ammo. Uh, fire the person that made the sewer. <laughs> uh, and, and fire this person. Fire the, fire, the, uh, fire the architect of this place. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Not even like it. <laughs> Fire them. I'm just gonna ha I'm gonna turn back off the crosshairs because I don't really like them, but I will use it for this next part because it seems like I have no fucking dude. Yeah, I mean I'm kind of a gamer. Bada bing. <laughs> The RTX. <laughs> I can't just spin shoot. I have RTX enabled. Ah, they're ripping me to shreds. They're not actually doing that much damage. Wait, you guys can't get up here? It seems they can't get up here. Okay. We lost to these. We lost the war to these. The war, we, uh, billions of humans, children, dead, to these. Fuck, I needed that bullet. Fuck, this guy's actually the best one. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, they don't use, they're afraid to use real guns. 
that unlike me, who's very willing to use real guns. Oh! <laughs> like, that's a real gun. Like, a real gun does that to a thing, you know? Like, that's a different thing. Why are you decoloning? Look! Machine invasion! It, 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 they're bad! Cringe! We haven't seen any of the weird ones. Those ones kind of wigged me out. Those were the spooky ones. Haven't seen any of them in a while. Man, the FPS. The performance of the game has taken a nosedive, though. They really should have... I don't know why they didn't split up the maps more. Because they showed that they were willing to do that before. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Don't use it! Don't use it! Well, we've used all of our healing potions by accident. Not that we really need them, but, uh... I couldn't cancel it. Did I just hear something shoot at me? Does someone dare? Real quiet where I heard that shot. Sounds like someone doesn't want me to come up there. Sounds like they missed and now they're scared I'm coming up. I'm coming up there. Oh, there's a whole lot of them. You think they'll all kill each other if I just like stand right here? They're shooting each other. Guys, stop. Okay. Yeah. That was a lot of guys all piled up together. Anyways, I have so many shotgun shells, I don't think I'll run out until the end of the game. Hello? Hello? I'm hearing like a scary sound coming from nearby. Is there some kind of demon? Oh, actually, fuck that, though. That's kind of spooky as fuck. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. I actually killed it. It's dead. Simple as that, baby. <laughs> I just don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Woo! The future has been saved. You're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Robert, or whatever the fuck your name was. Next time, just use guns. Just don't know what to tell you. How did we lose? Skill issue, dude. <laughs> That's all. I've it's got the skill. Town hall. You know, I'm actually quite curious to know what's in there after all these years. Hopefully not too many things that want to kill me. Why is this girl not like immediately on the radio going, Oh my God, there's a one night that's like the height of like a fucking skyscraper. Why didn't you tell me about that? Why didn't anyone tell me? Like, she's just like ignored it. You can't just show that on screen and then not have the character be like, Oh my fucking God, this is way worse than I thought it was. You think it was a hallucination. Don't try to take away my kill like that, fucker. I killed that thing. Robert, I'm here to either save you or kill you. Where you at? You evacuated? Ooh, more healing drink. I need these. Feels like my character moves faster now, which is nice, because I haven't been using Sprint because they've always felt so slow. Robert! You, uh... I mean, I know he's not gonna be here, but, like, I 
can keep pretending, I guess. Robert? You in there? Wait a minute. Oh my god, it's gonna be a really big picture of Robert. I feel like that is, but my character doesn't have, like, the voice lines to acknowledge it. Because I, I can almost guarantee that's supposed to be Robert. Because I vaguely remember him looking like that in, like, a picture in the apartment. But, uh, she won't acknowledge it in game, likely. I can save my game and end the scene. No one's here. You think I'm gonna get grabbed by a big robot? I'd have been more surprised if there was. Take a look around. Anything? Um. Looks Gasp. like the train towards the coast. North of the city? The Doom Chapel, of course. How do I get there? Well, there's a train in the town hall station. It needs filling up with water and coal, but it should still run. Okay. I will leave right now. Wait. You have to cross the old canal to reach the city gate. It's no man's land. Nobody's been there for a long time. Well, do I have any other choice? <sighs> Thanks for warning me, but I need to go. No matter. Just don't go off of this. <laughs> Just don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I need to go. When did the game save? I saw an auto save as I fell. Was that was that just in my head? Nah, surely not though. Yeah, there we go. I found a better pickaxe. Or at least that's what it said. Well, I'm gonna turn back off the uh, crosshair now because I fucking hate it. How does anyone play with crosshairs? Imagine needing that much help. Well, I can't believe my husband didn't wait 10 years in an alternate timeline for me. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. What the fuck? Typical men. <laughs> Typical. Hey, Jackass. Yes, yeah, right. And you too. Wait, does he know the way up? That guy might have advanced pathfinding. Oh, I can't get out. Oh, no. They've got me right where they want me. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. And I'm fine. All right. The, uh, the little robot boy lost me. He ran the other way and doesn't know that I jumped down. He's waiting for me at the door, thinking he's smart. Hee hee hee, I'm gonna get him! Uh, this doesn't look like a safe jump. Oh. Uh, this doesn't look like a safe jump. They're all just like sort of harmless little guys, you know? Like, I don't really think these guys are all that dangerous. They're kind of just like hanging out doing their own thing. Anyways, I do have to kill them because they're gonna blow up for minor damage if I don't. Which is sort of the issue. I wouldn't try it. Learn the lesson that that one didn't. Come on, don't bother. No one's gonna get rid of you for real. Whoa. He went into that water and didn't even like, there was no resistance. The water just took him. Is it just different in this world? So is my pickaxe better? Cause I got like a sturdy one. Does I mean, it does more damage. Nah. Nah. 
Just kind of does the same. I think that was just like a... Dude, you do so little damage. Have more value in your own life. Like, value your life more. That didn't do anything to me. Why would you blow yourself up for that? I barely even saw my health bar move. Anyways. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is sad. I feel like I'm bullying. Like, these robots... I don't know how the fuck Walter dropped the ball so hard, but, like, these robots are not that dangerous. None of them are. Honestly, every single one of them has been sort of a funny hang like, a situation. It's just been, like, a sort of funny hangout situation. I do not think... Three hits with the pickaxe as opposed to five to six, and you're adding me to tell me that? Uh, I don't think... I got an upgrade. I fully power attacked all three of those. You don't need to tell me the numbers breakdown of my pickaxe, but thanks. I can't get over this way. I can't jump that far. He's scared. Go on now, dance! Dance! Oh, he's on fire. Uh... I don't have any rifle ammo. Wow, we already made it, dude. It's very compact, this game. I'm already at the next place I needed to be. And I'm already at the train. You guys think the train's already loaded? No, surely not. Journal of Joseph, Joseph Oswald. Missed a lot of notes in this game. <laughs> I managed to talk to a few people's representatives and convinced all of them to vote against further industrial projects. We are all concerned that the dangerous encounters with Atlas, as Rosendahl calls them, are connected with the big machine in the Institute, and not with Revelstad, as Rosendahl states. We have a good chance to shut down the machine if we manage to find more people who are against Rosendahl's politics. Since November last year, I regularly find more of these caged birds in my apartment. No matter what I do, they appear out of nothing overnight. I don't know what to do about this. So, you're telling me that... Walter fucking lied about the cause of all the bullshit because he didn't want to get everyone mad at him? Because that sounds about like what's happening right now. Alright, I'm good to go. Wow, it's already preset for me. While you find your way out of there, you know, I think I might go put the kettle on. Well, it's so nice to know that someone's got your back. You're welcome. Lady, he's not only helped you a ton already, but he's also in a wheelchair. Uh, I, he literally couldn't do this. Like, why are you, like, what is your problem? He's like, he, he, died, he saved your life. <laughs> Allegedly. No, he is. He was in a. Like, <laughs> he literally just made tea. Why is he making more? It's just. It's wild to be like, thanks for not coming to help me. When, like, it, it'd be unbelievable for her to be like, so you're, cut, you're gonna come all the way up here to, like, the train, right? <laughs> it just feels like a lot of. Like, it feels like it'd be a lot. Like, kind of rude to ask. He just had tea. Why is he making a second cup in the same hour? Caffeine. Rely. He needs it. I need it. Stop defending men, bigot. Whoa! <laughs> True! <laughs> True! Oh, God. I'm back in the spooky zone. Oh, fuck. I think another person just fell from the ceiling. I saw it. I looked away, you blink and you miss it, and someone falls out of his place all the time, dude. It's like magic. Why are there so many globes? Chat, did you know there's at least this many globes on the planet? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that just weird to think about? Like, why would you need more than one? Another person just fell. Hang on. I think it's like a pattern. Wait, that is a different thing. That was like an alien. 
I'm beginning to think that thing was not a robot that I shot, but some kind of alien. Hang on, can we get that again? Those are not people. Someone's playing Portal. You don't think I'm gonna, like, see a spooky alien soon? I hope there's not another weird, like, fucking, like, pretentious theater thing going on. I'm busy today, I just don't have time, man. Hmm. He was walking out there with a ball. I saw it. See, what's funny is that if it rolls credits any second now, I'm gonna be really bummed that I didn't like pad the game more by watching all those performances. But that wouldn't happen. Oh. Nice. This is lovely. Chad, I'm not even seeing any robots out here. See, it's lovely. This is the nice part of town. All the robots are hanging out in the middle of town. This is like where the, this is the nice part. It's actually wild this girl knows how to operate this train. Of course. Hey, do you read me? Looks like the gates are closed. Hang on. Yes, I do. Actually, you know, I just realized I don't know. Yeah, and the name stay of out. The queen. I got him. I am unbelievably sorry. Your highest of highnesses. <laughs> now tell me your name, or I won't tell you how to. Why did I do that again? Game. I'm alive. I'm fine this time. That time, I not happening right. twice. Never happens twice. I know better. All, I guess. Nice to meet you, Queen Nora, from a different place. I am Brent, your only subject. What's up, Brent? Service. There's a control room above the gate there. You have to cross the beach and some buildings behind it to reach it. Brent, what's up? Right. Um, there's something else. Just make up a new name. Brent's, like, it? not a very... I, uh... I used to live here, you know, before the war. When My name's Brent. No offense to Brent, it's evacuated. just like, you know. A chance to reinvent yourself. I was uh, left behind. No. Oh, Brent, I'm so sorry. You don't need to be. I just, um, I was hoping that you would take something with you to the sea of course anything is it far off my trail there it is <laughs> anything as long as it's not um like inconveniencing to me no 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 it's it's on the way uh, yeah i, I do anything uh, so long as it's like nearby <laughs> it's the only one in this area hey. yeah, all right all right i'll keep an eye out yeah, i'll keep an eye out That's about all she can say, though, is I'll keep an eye out. Whoever's chair that was, <laughs> it's not theirs anymore, it's gone. Hostile sightings. Dear Sir Van Jonas, Yesterday I received the news that about 10 kilometers north of Hakovic, more of these hostile steel machines have been spotted. Forest workers are on their way home in the early evening when they saw three to four of these things. Later that day, witnesses told us about blue, bright flashes of light in the woods, but could not give any exact details. There's no trace of the forest workers. <clears throat> this is now the fourth case within a week. I would like that to be cleared up. Maybe Vevelstad is responsible for it and we are made a fool of. Do you have any suggestions? Respectively, Eugen Carlson, Defense Minister. I pressed E in the game. Okay, I thought the game froze. Alright, we're good. Well, chat, 
You know, maybe new area means new robots, or maybe, excuse me, more of those cringe, weird ones. Really, anything's possible. This feels like the kind of place where I get jump scared. You know what I mean? Like, something goes like, and like, just jumps right out at me. Friend? I've just entered that big building behind the beach. Is this the right way? <laughs> All right, man! You made me do it! It's like some kind of dog thing. Damn. But they're bad. You can tell because they have saw blades for faces. Dude, at what point does Boston Dynamics go like, you guys gotta fucking stop? It's not fair, you guys keep picking on us. Like, at what point does Boston Dynamics have to be like, dude, stop. Come on, guys, stop making games about our shit. Like, we're trying so hard to make them look nice, and you guys keep putting, like, saw blades on them. Please? <laughs> Hello? Is there another robot? I'd feel really bad if I were another robot. If I knew how many fucking guns I was packing. Dude, look at, like, they don't stand a goddamn chance. Kind of fucked up. I wish I was playing on hardcore mode, but I didn't realize that, um... Well, I, I know. I don't feel... I'm not upset that I'm not playing on hardcore mode. I wish they didn't have the fucking save system in hardcore mode. Because I just I just didn't want to pick it because of that. Because I thought it was going to be way too annoying. And it probably would have been. Because I'm like, I'm getting put down to 50% health. I'm just like good enough that it's not killing me, you know? Because it's skill. You know, it's all skill. I know what I'm doing. I'm very skilled. Hello? Dude, look at that RTX water. I can really tell. <laughs> Look at that RTX sludge. I paid $40,000 for this GPU on the black market. Look at those dogs having a good time hanging out. What's up, assholes? Yeah. Man. Shotgun's pretty good. I'm gonna feel bad when I don't have any more of it. Hey, can I have that? Dude, look at that RTX sludge, dude. Bro! I can literally see myself. Shoes ruined. Uh, look. I don't even as well hang on there's guys over there this scope sucks <laughs> solid AI man solid AI these robots really are keeping me on my toes did you see that that one actually took in what happened and then shot back the other one ran in the wrong direction though so points docked we lost to this our entire society is crumbling as a result of these fucking jabronis. <laughs> they just got me. They fooled me with the easiest trick in the book, the bad bridge. Brent? God damn it, did Brent? They, did they confiscate Hello? my fucking things? Uh, no, they didn't. Be alive. I'm still in the game, baby. I'm still in the game, baby. This is like the realm of bad lighting. This is like actually like jarring because everything else has been really good. But for some reason, this place has like this bizarre. It's like wigging me out. There's something like off about being down here. I'm like, I feel unwell. I don't feel good. Something's wrong. I got to get back inside. There's something about this. But I got to get out of here. There's some crust happening. I think it's all the grass. I got to get inside. It's not any better inside. Bro, the robots, they, they put RTX everywhere, dude, even where it wasn't needed, bro. You gotta understand the future's fucked. You gotta go back, dude. 
Gotta go back! The lost Isolith treatment. That is such a f that is so fucking true. And it makes me angry. Dude, imagine going, imagine like meeting someone, like you really get along well, you're like hitting it off. And then they say that their favorite level in Dark Souls ever was Lost Isolith. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Like no irony. Do you run? Do you flee as fast as you can? Do you sprint away from them? I'd scream. Like, imagine instead, though, you, like, get someone that's never played Dark Souls before to play Dark Souls, and they're having a good time, and you've been, like, hanging out, watching them play, and just, like, enjoying watching someone's first time through Dark Souls, and then they get to Lost Isolith, and they unironically go, yo, this place fucking slaps so goddamn hard, what the hell? This, like, place is great. Do you, like, what do you do then? Do you try to stop them? Do you, like, put your hand over their mouth and slowly suffocate them? Like, stop their oxygen flow so they can't breathe anymore, and then, like, quietly just get rid of them? Cringe! I gotta get down there. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep just assuming there's stuff down there. Look, I see a light! I see a light! I see a beacon! See a light? Like, look at that. The game literally said jump down there. Oh, really? What it obviously wanted me to do was jump over here. <clears throat> actual fucking unbelievable gamer. Like, actual unbelievable gamer. Where am I? I found it. What's up? Oh god. It's all sludge. This is like a fucking combat zone. There's like barrels, I mean, boxes everywhere. This is like some kind of sequence. Soft lock. Yeah! Well, I would say that is possible if I didn't know that hallway gave way directly to that fucking ramp. So I don't really think so. Besides, there's tons of... I have so many bullets, you guys are literally never gonna get to me. Like what, like what, we can do this all day. I, there's so many bullets everywhere, you don't understand. Pop, pop, pop. Ah! Man, those guys are basically harmless too, like the little running guys. They can't do anything, they just can't. Feels like there should be music running right now, but I think I fucked that up by skipping it. <laughs> Those guys are the weakest ones in the entire fucking game. They look so scary, but in fact they are nothing. I fear these like weird looking ones way more. The ones that look like boxes. We lost to this. The entire human race destroyed. To a bunch of silly guys. So, uh, what lever do I pull next? Back to middle? Might be back to middle. No. 
That's nowhere I go? What's that? What do I do? I've got 50... I got like 60 shells. Like, where, you're never getting me. The thing stopped, which makes me feel like I have to do this on a time limit. Hang on. Maybe I did fuck it all up. Maybe I did soft lock it. Oh, boy. I have to do it. I have to go, go quickly. Out of my way! <laughs> have some goddamn respect! Okay, now I guess I just go over here. Maybe it just goes up on- Oh, I see. There we go. Well, that was a sequence. I felt like I was in a sequence. The lack of music is kind of wonky. Yeah, there hasn't been any music in the whole game, though. So I don't think that was like a bug. There just hasn't really been much of a soundtrack to it. Which is too bad, because this game could really benefit from like a cool synth soundtrack or something. The only music I really get is from the uh, records. So when are you going to come alive? Because you look like you're going to come alive. Oh. Oh, there's music. Yeah, no, I just wanted to show you guys how strong I am. This must be Brent's building. Brent? It's your building? I forgot all about trying to help Brent. Ooh, damn, it's freezing here. I genuinely completely forgot about Brent. Kill him. Kill Brent. Are you guys psyched? He's not in this building. Chat, this is just the building he wanted us to go to. You fucking maniacs. And you said that on open mic. He heard you. Bloodthirsty psychos. I'm inside the building you asked me to go to. Is there someone in here I should be looking for or should be planning on killing? Brentley, can you hear me? All right, Brent. I guess I'll just do whatever. Wow, it's a lovely- Brent, do you read me? Yes, I do, just barely. Uh, I'm on the roof of your building. There are a bunch of greenhouses. Connection seems good here. Okay. My old apartment is the one on the roof. <laughs> Understood. It's quite peaceful up here. Okay. Well, I see his building, I just gotta get inside. So let's do some trashing of his entire place until we find the way in. Very nice looking, though. All right. Industria Festivities 1991. Dear Hans, today I visited the demonstration at the Institute of Hakovic. I didn't exactly know what it was about, but rumor had it. It was about a new technology developed to improve every aspect of our cities, they said. I couldn't even imagine what it would be. Crowds of people swarmed into the Institute trying to get a view of the machine, but it didn't matter. Even before the demonstration, you could hear the humming in the whole building. Such a sound I had never known. And as the demonstration began, the machine began to discharge some kind of manufactured lightning. The revolution, they're calling it. After witnessing it for myself, I can only agree, your friend Volker. I'm, I'm full on bullet ammo. Building a robot that runs on cringe energy. Yeah, I got enough ammo. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, that's not a robot. That's like an alien. I got him. That was me. I killed it. Again, the bullets just take a long time to travel to you, you know? So, like, the bullets reached him just then and evaporated his body. Yeah. 
So did that unlock the uh the thing? <coughs> Ow, my fucking leg. Surely, I see the windmill turning. That means it must be open. Meh. Yeah. Thing <laughs> unlocked. Let's get in there. You guys think it's funny to keep the door locked on me? You guys still want to see what happens when I go sicko mode? Cause I'm gonna. You guys don't want me to go sicko mode. <laughs> what did I miss? I was distracted by the fucking alien. I like actually did not process what happened when I pulled that lever because I was distracted by the giant fucking alien that was walking. It looks like... Oh, I had to turn it. I had to pull enough times. There we go. Well, I just had to pull it more times. Now the light is green. Please. 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 I run him in. Chair, bed, well, uh, blanket, a bed, picture, uh, a blanket. rug, a nice rug. Keep talking, please. The windmill outside. Ah, uh, windows, wall. The sun on the carpet. Brent, you're not dying, are you? Leaves on the wooden floor. Here's a photo of. Two happy people. That's, uh, that, that's it. That's what I want you to take. Can you, um, can you describe what's in the photo for me? It looks like winter. There's a flea market in the background. The woman is laughing. Dude, thank God they cutscene to me for this, because I was going to press E on that fucking photo and huck it right off the goddamn roof, I swear to God. Like a real rascal. Peace, friend. Because that's just what I'm like. Take the photo with you to the sea. <laughs> There's a graveyard. All right, Brent, I can do that. I will. Brent, Thank you, Nora. is there a more specific address than... Brent? Is there a more specific address than by the sea? Brent? He hung up. That's really going to set back my... Uh... He just said, on a stone by the sea. Okay. I will, I will take care of it with those exact details in mind. It's the sea. Chat, there's a lot of sea. Like a lot, a lot. Front. 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 He had the radio on. He doesn't usually do that. Brent? You didn't give me the address, Brent. Journal of Joseph Oswald, 5 of 5. Birds, ongoing attacks by Atlas have made... Atlas make all of our lives hard. Birds, birds, birds. I can't think clearly. The referendum was cancelled when the Mangfisk was overrun. I feel sick. I need to stop all of this. Joseph Oswald. Why do I feel like Brent's actual name is Joseph Oswald? That makes a lot more sense. 
Oh my god, they're surrounding me. Yeah. Birds aren't real. You're right, the one we did see glitched out. Pretty damning, huh? Pretty, pretty bad news. Something off about it. Where do I go? Guess up. Yeah, we're probably looking at an up situation. I need to use my pistol. Wait, no I don't. I need to use this SMG more. I have a lot of ammo with it right now. I just don't- Guys, what if that alien shows up and like fucking punches me? Like just zoom it like completely fucking destroys me in one hit. Like it could happen. Yep. Can I just like toss the photo off like the- I don't know where I go for this. Gatefield report. 1046, North Gate, Hakovic. The position is established. Full troop strength. Multiple machine guns are set up to keep the metalheads as far away as possible. 2204. 15 of my soldiers dissolved within a few seconds when a wave of Atlas troops rushed over the bridge. Dissolved? Which guys were they fighting? Because uh, most of the robots I've been seeing use airsoft guns. And, uh, like, uh, some, like, small firecrackers. Those who made it out had terrible cuts. 0416. No chance to hold this line any longer. The only thing that keeps us going is the fact that they evacuate hundreds of people through the south gate. At the moment, it is quiet. Only the seagulls call. But birds aren't real. Chat told me that. Thor, do you hear me? What's up? Hello? Nora, are you there? Yes, yeah, I'm here. You made it back to the train? It's certainly nice to hear your voice again. It's been like five minutes. Yes, I am. Uh, Is this close enough to the sea? <laughs> oh, thank Christ. I see rocks over there. Well, if you follow the tracks, you'll reach the city gates. Finally. I don't... All right. I just don't want to miss the place he was there. talking about. I just toss it over the edge and I get in the fucking train. Let's go. Graphics, grapahics look like death loop. You're right, the grapahics do look a little bit like death loop. They're kind of death loop adjacent. Yeah. Grapahics. I think this game might have stolen some ideas from the game of all-time Deathloop. All in favor of getting anyone that made this game about it. I. How dare they? I actually like this game quite a bit, though. Although I've heard that it has an abrupt and sh like fast ending. We'll see, we'll see what, it, what, we're probably getting very close to it now. But I think it was meant to be like a, like franchise or like a multiple part game. So not sure we're gonna reach the conclusion in one game. Yep, you see that's the thing is that we can't see ahead of us and chat's probably right. We're just gonna crash into a wall and fucking die. That'll be the end of our character. We'll just hit something and boop, our character will fly into the air and smash their face into a wall and fucking die. Or the big alien will step on us. Lots of smoke. Hey Brent, seems like I'm about to leave the city. Just passing the gate. That's good news. We're almost out. Brent. Our, uh... Our connections. No. Are they going to go dead soon? What about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm made of tough stuff. My place is here. If you say so. Take care of yourself, okay? The I literal only down. thing in the game to talk to.
Oh, I was about to say there's not much going on out here, Brent. <laughs> Brent, they upscaled one of the eggs. Bye, Brent. Brent, this oh, egg's... They made this one all big! I'm from the future, motherfucker! Eat shit! Yeah, that's what I do. That's how people know I'm from the future. Console, set scale 20. Right now. Wait a minute. Do those pipes have the texture of bricks? Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't you credit me. Not after that. I think we're entering some kind of AI, some AI f simulation. Robots painted these walls. Oh. Someone, uh... Come on, get to translating. I know some of you speak fucking German. Come on. That is tiny. You're right. It's the font size that's the problem. You're right. True. Sort of spooky, dude. Sort of spooky. This game reminds me, for some re weird reason, uh, about uh, Pathologic 2. I just need to go back and play through that game, like, on my own time, without any stream bullshit, because I heard it was fucking great. And I never really got deep enough in to really appreciate it. I really liked what I did play. That's how I know that I'm, uh, this is all a hallucination is I take another fucking drug because I'm still allowed to take those even in the upside down. I really shouldn't have been taking all these robot medicines. It's just not safe. These are made for robots. If medicine glows, don't drink it. It's not made for you. It's made for someone else. It's like drinking a glow stick. Yeah, basically. Walter! Can you hear me? Is anyone out there? Is anyone out there? Walter! All that ammo wasted? Yeah, because I need all of it. <laughs> yeah, I've been really... I've been really at my wit's end when it comes to ammo. I can, I just fuck it almost completely out. My dog's barking. You upset my dog. Look at what you did. You pissed my dog off. So that's where you are, Walter. Lady, it's the first and only, I mean, I guess one Really dumpy train rail. <laughs> it's, just, it's just end of the line. Only stop, end of the line. If the robots were trying to find them, it probably wouldn't take that much effort if they were smart. But of course, this is Atlas we're talking about, and Atlas can't clear stairs. So, um, this might actually make sense. How'd these cars get out here, though? Wait a minute, why is it all sandy? Walter? Walter? Yeah, something's off. Something that's not supposed to... Something's off about this. 
Oh yeah, my girl's about to have some alien puncher in the nose. There's just no way. We're we're this is all in our head, dude. There's something wrong. Where? Where are they? Yeah, no, this is super omega not reality, I think. I better record this for science on a separate safe slot. Butter. Back to the shit from the, uh, ooh. Wait, but I'm on this side. Dude, don't worry, we can just put this fucking thing here. They'll never check. They'll never go to the other side to see the weird part. Can I, like, tamper with this and fuck with the display? Will I see this? Hang on. Yeah. Why am I checking through, through these when I already confirmed how it works? <laughs> why, why did I just bother checking? Where's the whale? You're right. I don't know where the whale is. Where the hell's the whale? Oh, the ocean. I found the whale. This is very pretty. So I can probably just huck the paint, the like the photo from here, right? Like probably hit the rock. I see a rock down there. Yeah, if I just, if that, that's debris. I'll, I'll just throw it later. We'll do that later. Although I do think I could make it from here. Oh, what are the odds that Walter, well, uh, Brent would, um, what, what, what are the odds that the exact place that he'd want me to take the photos would be at the very end of the line at the exact same place I was going right at the sea? Hey, chat, do you think that Brent is actually Walter? And he's just so fucking old and it's actually been way longer than he said? No. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Hope that was the right one. I don't think so. I don't think that's actually. That'd be wild. That, that, that wouldn't make much sense. Brent was his last name. Well, I'll go inside the weird building. You gotta be fucking kidding me if that's just Walter just like on the bed napping. End scene. <laughs> this was a good scene. Hey! Oh. Walter? Oh my god, Walter. Look at you. What did they do to you? What is this? Skip. Skip, press escape. What? Walter? W what? But- Nora, I turned myself into a robot, Nora. Nora, I'm in the VR. Uh-uh. I don't understand. I purposely didn't prevent Atlas in the beginning. You- wait, you what? Oh, Walter did like a whole thing. He's like kind of evil. Maybe I should have been watching these before. He fucking completely bamboozled me. So when I discovered that it was capable of learning, learn. Freedom for Atlas, knowledge for us. Walter, wait, wait, stop. For what price? Uh, knew that after this day, things will change for the GDR. The only possibility. Dude, I should not have drank like 20 glow sticks yeah. before this fucking meeting. No, no, wait. Wait a second. I don't get this. Then I became King Rosen for Rosen. Welcome to the people of Akavik. He lived a bit now, now, but I was responsible. 
Walter, stop. This all this this can't be. Walter, please wake up. This is all wrong. Someone in chat just says, Nora is stupid, isn't she? <laughs> well, this is kind of like an overwhelming amount of information all of a sudden. Like, yeah, maybe before, but now it's like, okay, there's a lot going on. <laughs> what, like, Walter just fucking, like, stops the fucking, like, fall? What are you, stupid? Walter, Why are you paying please, attention? <laughs> you didn't do any of this. Dude, imagine going all the way back in time to find your boyfriend, you you and it turns out and we'll that back home. he's That'll a fucking fine. calculator now. He's Walter, a robot. Please. Walter, Annette. I still don't know what those, uh, those... I don't even get who they are. Where uh, are the we librarians? Anyways, what the hell? Where was I for the last 20 years, Walter? I know you have some questions. But time. No, no, you're not doing this to me again. You don't leave me again. I never want to drag you into this. I so Don't leave me! Please stop! Uh, he's gonna fu- he did not just like- am I like stuck in- I promise. Did he just like switch a roomie? Am I- am I trapped in the metaverse now? Did he just swap me and now I'm going to have to watch as some jackass, like, protagonist steps into the fucking stage, like, viewing area and goes, Nah, I don't got time, I'm streaming. And, like, stumbles out the- No! <laughs> he NFT'd me! Ending was a little bit of a sneeze, if I had to be honest. Uh, ending was a little bit of a sneeze. Ending, but I, I'm not sure what I was expecting. There was a... It felt like the kind of ending where the writers and devs were like, we're gonna get like a... This is gonna be like a six, ten hour game. And then they got to like hour three and they were like... We don't have enough ideas to do that much in the gameplay, but we do have a lot of ideas in the story. We'll just squeeze it all at the end. We'll it'll make it work. And it, it just like felt like they just had to shove a bunch of shit into the very ending. Dude, there's a... Uh... Look, if you want to hurt your head and watch, like, a time travel confusing thing, just go watch, like, Dark on Netflix or something. <laughs> it sort of touches upon a lot of, like, the same kind of shit and uh, is definitely hurts your head more, which is, I think, what a lot of people are going for when they go for time travel stuff. Just go watch, like, it's like 18 or 19 different things. I like the, I like the visuals of this game. I like the atmosphere. I like that kind of stuff. But, uh, I mean, the story was average like which is fine like i it was twenty dollars i don't know if this game is twenty dollars um i think it's maybe if you wanted to play it get on like a sale because uh i don't know if it's twenty dollars because what I, I this didn't even reach a f i it was less than three hours Vodgon, what the fuck? Dude, the dude, Tomato said something bad about the game he played. He must be deleting the VOD. What are you fucking dumb? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not gonna fucking, like, I'm just saying, like, I'm just talking about the game. He hated it. He's deleting all of it. I didn't even think it was that bad. I just thought this ending was extremely rushed. And, like, the gameplay got a little bit stale after a while. But, like, it was fine. Imagine having one mild criticism and then assuming that I'm going to delete the entire VOD. Why? <laughs> Get that bullshit idea out of your head. It's annoying. Stream refunded. He's refunding the whole thing. <laughs> I think I would have enjoyed it more if I played it on the hardcore difficulty, but I also feel like it wouldn't have made it more fun. It probably just would have made me take longer. 
I don't think it would have made the game more interesting. I think it would have just been like, yeah, it's taken me longer to get through it now. Yeah, it felt like, uh, it felt like the kind of game that should have been like th episodic and cut up into smaller pieces that were like $10 a pop, if you want me to be honest. Like, episode one, everything in the city. Make episode two shit in like the forest, and then episode three, like a bunch of mind bending time bullshit. Probably would have been better an episodic thing, but obviously that's harder to do when you're an indie dev trying to survive. You know? So I get it. But yeah. You should delete your channel. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, uh, cringe, dude. Those are cringe. Cringe. Didn't run, uh, didn't run as long as I was expecting to, but I also knew it was semi-short and it crashed. Well, that's fine. Chad, I will be back tomorrow for Dying Light with Sam and I think maybe Gmar. Should be fun. We're gonna be playing the uh, following DLC. We're not doing like base Dying Light. We're gonna do the standalone DLC, because none of us have ever done it. So yeah, we're gonna be playing Dying Light 2. Yeah, chat, we're gonna be playing Dying Light 2. You guys, like, stu stupid? <laughs> Why do you keep asking dumb questions lately? What's up with you? It's not out for like a month. It's a problem. You're making me angry. Because sometimes you keep asking it until I respond. VR Dying Light 3? Finally, someone asks a good question. Yeah, I'm playing Elden Ring tomorrow. I'm gonna get my PC hacked. I'm gonna turn on Elden Ring and I'm gonna get my PC hacked. Someone's gonna steal all my bank account info live. All right, chat. Thank you for uh, those that gave subs. Santino HS, thanks for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks also to... Uh, I scrolled by it. Gray Apache for the 40 gifted subs. Very kind of you, Gray Apache. Thank you very much. Thank you, anyone that gifted subs that I may miss, because obviously I'm not perfect and I whiff shit a lot. I appreciate it regardless. Uh, bits, donations, all of it. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll probably be a, probably a pretty long stream tomorrow. But uh, that should be fun. I think we can do it standalone uh, without having to make a new character. So I should be good to not having uh, to not have played it before the DLC, I think. I'm hoping. Darova, thanks for the gifted sub. I'll look into it before I turn on the stream tomorrow and make sure that I'm good. But yeah. Yeah. I'll see you all tomorrow. And uh, then I got, I mean, I'm streaming like, I'm honestly streaming like all week this week, I think. So yeah, should be, should be a good time. Should be a good time. I got some good stuff. I think uh, actually not for broadcasts uh, coming out of early access tomorrow as well. I won't be able to play that because I'm doing uh, Dying Light, but I reckon that'll be in the next couple days as well. Play through that properly now that it's like finished. Although, when I went to install it, I did find out it's a 62 gigabyte game because all of the footage it must be uncompressed as fuck. Like, all their footage must be, like, super uncompressed. It's, like, huge for, like, an indie game. Like, ridiculously huge. So, yeah. I'll have to clear out some space, I guess. All right. I'm out of here. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Cringe.